Hello, everybody. I'm your host, Eric Bird, here at StopStrugglingNow.com. And tonight, we're going to talk about it. You know, these assets will make you rich. What are these? We're going to talk about it. Well, for starters, let's just give you one right off the top. Equities. Naturally, everybody that's been here knows equities. That means stocks. That could mean bonds. But we're going to go down the list because we may have some new viewers. And tonight, buy cheap assets that pay us, if that's possible. That's what we're going to talk about and much, much more. And welcome to the SSN Nation Wednesday night live stream where it's members only that can be in the chat room. That's right. Everybody can watch. Subscribers can watch. Anybody who's not a subscriber, you can all watch. But the only people that can be in the chat room are those with the icon, members of the channel. And welcome. Stop struggling now. Gear. Check. And please like, subscribe, and click the latest updates. Now, let's get to it. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for being here once again. Happy holidays. I hope you and your family are doing well. And please share the videos because you never know who we're going to be able to help. And then please, like I mentioned at the beginning, smash the like button. If you're watching this on the mobile app, I know you can't smash the like button if you have the live chat on. So you actually have to X out of the live chat, then smash the like button, then go back to the live chat. A little anomaly. If you're on your desktop, then you can always smash. Or your laptop, you can always smash that like button. That's so the YouTube guys know that we're in the house. And if you want to be in the chat room and you can't figure out why you're not in the chat room, well, you see, on Wednesday night live streams, only members of the channel can be in the chat room. But <clears throat> you can always become a member. All right, let's see who's in the house tonight or who's going to be in the house if you are here and you're a member of the channel. Please let me know if if you receive the YouTube notification, that would be greatly appreciated. And also if you saw the trailer and if you saw the trailer, some of you might have saw that courtesy of Melody Bonita, a member of the channel. I stole some of her content, ladies and gentlemen, and I put it up here because I thought it was worthy getting free did somebody say free cruises? Well, nothing's free. You're still going to have to pay for certain things, uh, such as your taxes, such as your port taxes. But nonetheless, you don't actually have to pay the, let's call it a, if it's a three night cruise, well, it's three days, let's say, for Margaritaville, you don't have to pay the $600 plus the port taxes, plus any other taxes. You just pay, pay the port taxes and that's it. Some of you may not know what I'm referring to because you didn't see the trailer, but here's what I'm going to do in the chat room. I'm going to post the link. So if somebody sees this afterwards, they'll be able to get that information. So here you go. I'm putting it in the chat room. It's Margaritaville has offers. If you're a veteran, if you're a first responder, if you're a teacher, you get to cruise for free at Margaritaville Cruises. And I didn't even know we really had cruises. This is news to me. But there's the link, ladies and gentlemen. And look who's in the house tonight. Victor Marrero is here. He's all about assets, ladies and gentlemen. Real estate is an asset, by the way. But we're going to check out what Webster's Dictionary says because you know how they don't want you to become financially free. And Victor Marrero with the icon. Welcome to the SSN Nation Wednesday night live stream. And he brings us one of two taglines. And this one is, hello all, let's do this. We're going to make it happen. And he contributes mightily, ladies and gentlemen. So you might want to stay tuned. Get your pen, pad, and papers ready because you may need it. All right, Victor Morrell lets me know, hey, he got the notification and saw the trailer. 
So thank you so much, Victor Morrell. And Victor Morrell is a veteran, so he can go on these margarita cruises by paying taxes only and port fees and all that. So that's pretty cool. All right. Just letting you know that's part of it. So again, I put a link in the chat room in case you're interested. Margaritaville.com backwards slash offers backwards slash heroes sale free. Now, let's get into this list, shall we? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Assets. We're just going to make this pretty uh, easy for you. All right. Not going to get crazy out of the box to begin with because some people don't understand what assets we're talking about because most people go by the definition of an asset. So you see how they have it here on the Internet. One is a useful or valuable thing, person or quality. Well, see, this is the thing, ladies and gentlemen. We're not talking about this valuable thing, person or quality because we're talking about assets that pay us. We can buy valuable things, but as long as it's sitting there and not giving us any return, we're not talking about that type of asset here. But this is the kind of stuff they teach you in school. Go buy liabilities as an asset somehow. Go buy any damn thing and they're calling that an asset. That is not because it's valuable to me or useful to me. Yes, it's an asset in one sense, but we're talking about financial assets. We're not talking about just an asset that's going to sit there and look pretty. We don't need any of that, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's look at number two. Here's number two, property owned by a person or company regarded as having value and available to meet debts, commitments, or legacies. Now we're getting a little closer. Now we're getting a little bit closer, ladies and gentlemen, because property owned, well, let's call it what it is. If you own land, you pay taxes. Sure, you can borrow against it. Sure, you can do all kinds of stuff, but it doesn't pay us, ladies and gentlemen. We don't want that. Now, they're talking about a company. Now, you guys know a company could be an asset as long as it's profitable. That's why you should start a company or several companies. And again, in today's age, a lot of people want to work from their home. They want to be out and about, being able to be flexible. So therefore, you should set up your business, your LLC, your C-Corp. But I would not recommend using your home address. And you guys know I'm down with Opus offices, Opus virtual offices. Most major cities in the United States and even in some, I think, in Canada and maybe even in Puerto Rico. But the point I'm trying to make is it's virtual. So therefore, your LLC, your C-Corp, it will have the address of the Opus virtual office. The persons answer your phone. It's worth having it. It's at commercial locations. So again, that means you can qualify for business credit and start doing that venture. And if you have Opus virtual office, they have a live person answering the phone in your company name, your business name, professional. They also will transfer that call to whatever number you designate. So they could say, hello, this is Stop Struggling Now. And yes, we can transfer you to the department you need or the person you need. They transfer it, it rings you, you answer the phone. Simple, or they can send it to a voicemail. But there's one other important factor here. They give you the business phone number, which now means it's in the 411 system. They give you a business fax number. They also report to your credit bureau, your business credit bureau for your business, which now helps you build your business credit. It's a beautiful $99 a month, but use the YG1 promo code, promo code Y as in Y, G as in George, and the number one. That simple, ladies and gentlemen, not that hard. But now I just have to get back to this. That we're getting a little closer. A company having value and available to meet debts, commitments. The only way we can meet debts is we have to have income coming in. So we're getting a little bit closer to those assets. And then, of course, military wise, assets are based on what they're saying here. Military equipment such as planes, ships, communication, radar employed target or military operations we're not talking about those assets either those assets actually are not assets to the american public the reason why i say they're not assets to the american public is because your tax money pays for those ships planes communications 880 billion dollars this year 
is going to the military industrial complex. So see their asset, the government's asset, protecting our nation asset, the citizens pay for it via taxes for starters. All right. Just so you guys get this right. And it's you're still going to be paying taxes. So therefore, you need to have extra streams of revenue coming in. We need assets that pay us. We don't need assets that's going to cost us money. Those are liabilities, ladies and gentlemen. And let's start off with the number one liability that we're going to turn into an asset. And you guys know what it is. Let's call it what it is, right? It's a home. A home is a valuable liability that can turn into an asset. That's what makes this so interesting. This generally, an asset is a home, but it's a liability. Think about this. Again, everybody that's been here for the last four years, you guys know what this is. Bottom line, you go buy a house right now, ladies and gentlemen, and sit there and don't have a job. Tax bill comes due. Mortgage bill, if you got a mortgage, comes due. Water bill comes due. Property taxes come due. Does that sound like an asset to you? Doesn't sound like one to me. You're going to have to pay no matter how long you own that home. You're going to have to pay. If it's free and clear, you still pay. You you can't get away from paying. And oh, by the way, if you're paying, let's say, $12,000 this year for all that stuff, next year, it could it's going up. Property taxes going up. The the uh, water, sewer, and garbage bill is going to go up. Whether it's 3%, 3%, 4%, 5%, or 10%, you're paying more next year. There's no way around it. And you're going to pay more the next year on top of that, on top of that, and keep going. All right? Those are liability costs as far as I'm concerned. So, therefore, we need to buy this liability as cheap as possible, which is an asset. We want to turn it into an asset. How do we turn it into an asset? We buy low and sell high. Now, when we buy low, which is about to come up next year, buy a home 2023 is going to be the mantra. This year, it's passive income 2023. Next year's mantra is buy a home second half of 2023 and beyond. Reason why? If I can buy a house for 50% off of January 2022 or 2021 prices, that means even if the house goes up 30, 40%, That means tens of thousands of dollars that you could potentially pull out to start a business, buy an asset that pays you back. Assets come in different forms. So when we started seeing the assets on this page that you guys are familiar with, because everybody here knows what assets we're talking about. But now let's get into some other examples of assets. They're talking cash and cash equivalents. I got news for you, ladies and gentlemen. See this Google See the school stuff that they're teaching you? You're thinking differently. You're thinking they're telling you an asset is cash or cash equivalents. Let me ask you something. Are you going to call cash an asset if if you lost 15% buying power? So you have $100,000. But because a year goes by and you have it under a mattress, That $100,000 can only buy now the equivalent of $85,000. Does that sound like an asset to you? Okay. Doesn't sound like an asset to me if I'm holding this long term. But I'm saying now the reason why somebody might say it's an asset, cash that is, is because it used to be a thing, cash was king. You used to be able to get discounts for cash. Not so much anymore. You get discounts regardless. You don't need cash. But the point of the matter is, in my book, they have it listed as an asset. And I'm sitting here going, if you go by the Federal Reserve and their nonsense about 7% inflation, whatever, they don't include gas, they don't include rent, they don't include groceries. We all know groceries went up more than 7%. We all know gas went more than 7%. So therefore, you lose buying power. So therefore, cash is not an asset to me. It may be to you. But that's what they teach us, right? Accounts receivable. Now, this is very important, ladies and gentlemen. Here's where we go with the businesses. This is where we go with starting a business. This is where we go with some people here. We don't have courses. Somebody can start a membership like we have at SSN Lifestyle. Some people can start a gym. I always use the gym as an example. 
The reason why I use these as examples like a gym is think about when somebody comes in and signs a contract and says, I'm going to do $20 per month or $20. Yeah, $20 per month, $240 per year. That is a contract that you're signing. So some people don't look and know that their accounts receivable is an asset. That is an asset, but you're in business. So therefore, you can take that. Think about this $240 a year. Let's just say for what is that a planet fitness type of membership? All right. So you do sign up 100 people per month. Right. So you can start doing numbers. You sign up 1000 people per month. All of a sudden you're like, wait a minute, this is this is two point four million dollars. What are we talking about here? You can actually then give it to a capital finance company give that paper you haven't collected the 240 somebody just signed on a, on the dotted line that's an accounts receivable that you have in-house but you're saying i don't want to wait a year to get those thousand people at that 240 dollars. what i want to do i want to go and get a finance company to give me an offer so hey who this is worth let's just say it is i don't know the number but let's just say it's worth 2.4 million on paper I go down there and say, hey, how much will you give me? These guys might go, I'll give you $500,000 for it. $600,000 for that paper. That is accounts receivable that we're turning into an asset because it is an asset. That piece of paper is worth a lot. When you buy a home, you sign a piece of paper. They go and sell it on Wall Street and somebody buys it. Mortgage-backed securities, you ever heard of those? That's part of it. There's other things, they sell the paper. So that's why these homes are so valuable. This is why the government wants to move homes like nothing ever. That's why they wanna always make sure you are buying homes because they can turn that paper into fake money because that's basically what it is. Nobody's paid it yet. Nobody paid 300 or $500,000 for the house. All they did was put down, let's say a house was 500,000. All they did was put down $50,000, sign the paper, and now they have a loan for $450,000. It's only paper, but they're finding Wall Street after they have 100 or 200 or 1,000 of those, that's worth millions of dollars on paper. That's accounts receivable, ladies and gentlemen. That's why they want you to be buying liabilities. Are you getting up to speed yet, ladies and gentlemen? Because this are the assets that make you rich is when you buy a home at 50% off and it goes up I'm going to use an example again, 250, a $500,000 home that somebody bought in 2021 could potentially in about eight, nine months be worth $275,000. You're sitting there saying, Eric, you told me it was a liability. Yes, it is a liability at that point. You go and say, hey, I'm going to put down $50,000. I'm going to owe $225,000. I'm going to have a mortgage of 9%. And you're going, Eric, that's kind of crazy. That means I'm going to be paying around $2,300, $2,400 a month. Okay, well, that's not real crazy. And here's why, in case you're new here. The reason why it's going to be turned into an asset at this point is because in 2024, when the Federal Reserve starts reducing the federal funds rate, now all of a sudden, mortgage rates or refi rate might be 7%. Refi rate might be 6.5%. Refi rate might be 5%, but you now only have a mortgage of 225000 at 5% is now going to have a $1,100, $1,200 mortgage instead of you'll, your mortgage will be half price. But here's what's going to happen. Your home's not going to be worth two twenty five. dollars It might be worth three hundred. dollars It might be worth three twenty five. dollars but in two years, it's probably going to be worth 400 or 500 because they reduced the interest rate. Now, the reason why it turns into an asset at that point is because let's just say it went back up to just 500,000. You now have $225,000 worth of equity. Now you get to play with the big boys. You want to bump up because you'll be able to take out $100,000, refi it, and because the interest rate is low, you're going to pay less mortgage wise than you did at the original price using the 9% interest rate. 
So now you win because you get to take out money and you're going to go buy an asset where you have money coming in every month. So that way you can pay off that loan, the additional loan, and you'll be paying your mortgage. And now you have passive income coming in and now you have an asset that pays you. And that's what we do here, ladies and gentlemen. That's the best way I can describe it to you. So this is why I call these accounts receivable as well. Inventory. Some of you out there right now don't understand what this means. This is an asset as well because it goes along the same lines. You're in business. In fact, I had to call, let's say, a battery uh, company today. All right. So now they have batteries in on their shelf. That's part of their inventory. So imagine they have hundreds of batteries. All the batteries are $200. Somebody walks in there and goes, wow, you got 200 batteries in here. They're worth $200 each or 1,000 batteries in here. Somebody goes, yeah, that means you have inventory in here is worth two or $300,000. Well, since it's an asset, ladies and gentlemen, that's inventory. So once again, I've already given you how you use these liabilities. You can borrow against your inventory. That's right. It's nothing special. You can call up lenders right now and say, hey, I have this inventory for my business, my business, ladies and gentlemen, licensed, regulated in the state, all that business has $300,000 in here. How much can I get a loan against that? Similar to what Elon Musk did is borrow against his stocks to buy Twitter. Same thing Jeff Bezos does, same thing that all these rich guys do. They borrow against their stocks. Same similar thing. All right. Now let's get to the investments because here they have the investments, ladies and gentlemen. This is assets because investments, they haven't gotten to it, but we're going to talk about the investments here that they've omitted. The investments mean equities, stocks. We want stocks to pay us. All stocks don't pay you. Stocks pay you in different ways. If you bought a stock and it was $5 and then the stock went up to $25, you have to determine, are you going to sell at that 400% return on your money or are you going to just hold it? Well, Gino Shimiente, he's not waiting for 400%. He's happy with 30% or 40%. But my point I'm trying to make is there's an other side to this as well, which is what Warren Buffett does. Not only does he buy companies that give gives him profits, he buys companies on Wall Street that give out dividends, percentages, returns on investment. So, for instance, people know Apple. Apple gives out roughly 2% dividend. That's nothing. That's small. But there's a whole bunch of companies that give out dividends of 10% or more, 9% or more. So you can easily earn 10% return on your money by putting it into dividend stocks, all right? So Victor Marrero might have some on hand. I don't know. But all I'm saying is, ladies and gentlemen, these are assets and your people are sleeping on them because most people are too busy working and they say, hey, this is too slow for me. All I have is $50 a week or $50 a month that I can put in there. That's the point, ladies and gentlemen, you work slowly. We don't get to open up a can and all of a sudden have $2,000 and all of a sudden it turns into $200,000 overnight, over a week, over a year. Sometimes it might take five years. Sometimes it might take 10 years. Sometimes it might take 20 years. But the fact of the matter is, if you're putting money into something right now and whatever amount you put in is earning you 12% annually, and as long as they give out dividends, you earn 12%. You can't hardly beat that anywhere. I don't care if you want to give it to one of these 401k investment funds or Wall Street guys. Even they, on average, only do 9%. And when we adjust for inflation, they do 8%. Where do you think they're putting your money that you're giving them? They're putting it into dividend stocks that are earning 11%. 12%, 13%, 15%, 10%, and then telling you, here's your 8% annually, and they're taking 2%. When you have an assets under management of billion dollars, I think you don't mind 2%.
and then you don't mind taking another 1% for a fee. That's like $100 million that these guys are getting for managing your money, all right? They don't really care. They'll take the difference and tell, and you're going to be happy about it and say, oh, hey, I got 8% this year. But if you manage it yourself, you could get 10%, 12%, 13%, 15%, 16%. And I know some of you may be going, what's he talking about? This is crazy. There's no way that can happen. Don't worry. I'm not going to leave you hanging. I'm just going to give you one right now. Something G is in George, N is in Nancy, L is in Larry. That's 12% right there. All right. Just so you know, dividends, they give out 12 percent dividends annually. So imagine somebody right now puts in ten thousand dollars. You're going to have one hundred dollars per month coming back to you. In your account, and that's a twelve hundred dollars. And if you reinvest it. That means next year you're going to have twelve hundred. Well, at the end of a year, you'll have twelve hundred and a little bit more because you're reinvesting. Right. So the first month, instead of you having 1200, the next month you're going to have 1300. And so you're going to be getting 12 or whatever percentage on the 1300. So just it's a little more. So at the end of a year, you're not going to earn just 12 percent. If you reinvest, it could end up being 13 percent. You could have 10,000 in there at the end of the year, it's 11,300. I'm just using the example next year. Your 11,300 is going to generate more than 1,200 or 1,300. It might generate 1,400. So now in two years, you might have like $12,500 in there, $12,700 in there. You see what I'm saying? You didn't have to do anything. You're sleeping, right? You're sleeping. That's assets that pay us passively. That's another area that you want to tackle, ladies and gentlemen. I've talked about this several times for four years. G is in George, N is in Nancy, L is in Larry. There you go, 12% return, all right? Now, property, plant, and equipment. Here we go again. Now, when you start a business, there may be some people that are in the, let's call it YouTube business. So now you might be going out here getting a camera, a $400 camera, a $1,000 camera, your lighting system could be the same, $1,000. They That is an asset for your business. And the beauty of assets for a business, not only is it an asset that you can always sell because it has value, but you can also write it off. So how do millionaires and billionaires and people that make a lot of money get write-offs? Because if I buy a camera and let's say it's $1,000, I can do a depreciation because it's used for my business and I could depreciate some of that. It could be like a hundred dollars. The lighting, maybe it's an, I can get 150 depreciation off of my overall tax bill. So again, that makes it an asset for us because we have tools that allow us to depreciate our equipment, our tractor out there, right? If you're a farmer, you can depreciate your tractor. If you're out here buying real estate, you can depreciate your real estate. There's a lot of things you can do when you own assets. And that's what this PPP, property, plant, and equipment, this is why these are assets because they're also valuable to someone else. So you can always sell it. You can always get a loan against, all right? Vehicles. Now, see, see, this is, this is a problem. Vehicles are not assets. They go down in value. You buy a vehicle, you lose value, nothing's happening. The only way you can turn a vehicle into an asset is if you're going to do something like Turo. If you're going to do a car business, that's the only way. If you're trying to do like a DoorDash or something like that, you can turn that into an asset. Your vehicle now, because you have it under a business umbrella, is part of what you're doing for business. So now that becomes tax write-offs, depreciations, all kinds of things you can do. But generally, a vehicle is a liability. Because once again, you buy a freaking car for $70,000. You drive it for one year. That car is worth $50,000, $55,000 the following year. But yet, your loan is probably 
70,000, you're upside down, 65,000 or whatever the case may be, 55,000, you're upside down for the value. That is not an asset. They want you to believe it is though, ladies and gentlemen, it's not. I don't even care if you wanna buy a Lambo for 350,000, guess what? Next year, that Lambo you bought is not worth 350,000. They go down too, ladies and gentlemen, all right? There's no difference. Now, if you got one of 15, one of 10 special limited editions and they cost a lot of money, they turn into a collectible, okay, well, maybe that could be an asset, considered an asset, but we're not trying to give you that info because quite frankly, I don't care and you shouldn't care if a car goes up in value because guess what? You ain't getting none of this. All it's doing is sitting there looking at you, looking pretty, but you're not getting none of this. That's not an asset unless it's giving me some of this. I need some greenbacks coming in my pocket from somewhere. That's not an asset, right? Furniture, not an asset. The only reason they have it on the list is because furniture you usually can sell or resell, but in reality, it's just sitting there looking pretty. What, what do we, that's not an asset. That's clearly ridiculous to put this on an asset list. Patents. Here we go with intellectual properties. That's why people who have podcasts, that's why people who have YouTube channels, this is why people that's on, uh, that's an influencer on Instagram and TikTok, they get paid. That is intangible assets. That's intellectual properties as well. Just like Stop Struggling Now is an intellectual property. SSN Media, intellectual property. SSN Lifestyle, intellectual property. Anything that you have that's a business is an intellectual property when you're in the virtual realm. So a patent is in the virtual realm as well because you can actually sell patents. You can actually sell something that's similar to a patent, intellectual property rights. When you make music, you have publishing rights. You can sell publishing rights. You might have five or six or 10 years left of the publishing rights you bought. You can actually sell that to somebody. Again, Michael Jackson bought 50% of the Sony A, I can't remember their ATV, I can't remember their 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 lingo for their uh, publishing, but Sony ATV, let's call it. Michael Jackson had 50% of it. People were like, how come this guy's walking around just buying everything be, out of the blue? Because his Sony catalog is worth billions of dollars and he could borrow against it. That's the whole reason he didn't have to worry about debt. He could just be like, hey, um, I need to borrow against this. I can't remember how much the value is, but let's just say it's $10 billion. So he goes somewhere and sees something. Sure, somebody's going to give him something for 1000 2000 5000 20000 50000 100000 1 million because his catalog's worth $100 billion. Not a problem. So those are things that you want to achieve if you can get them. And yes, you can buy rights, intellectual properties, patents but most people aren't taught to do that so in 2023 let's start talking about it right i only did one video in four years where i was talking about getting somebody's publishing rights and where to go to get it because people sell them because literally they might be only giving them a uh, 200 per month maybe 400 per month they're not considering that anything major but if somebody says hey i'm gonna sell this to you for 300 dollars and it's giving you like $150 per month. Now, all of a sudden, you start stacking, and now you bought all these rights, and next thing you know, you're getting $5,000, $6,000, $8,000 per month for about 5, 10 years, depending on the length of time. It's kind of crazy, and it's out there, ladies and gentlemen. So there's a, those are assets similar to the patents. So now that we've clarified, those are some of the assets. I gave you the GNL signal for the stocks, right? So just think about that, ladies and gentlemen. Think about that. Here we go. Laverne Penix is in the house. Welcome to the SSN Nation Wednesday night live stream where it's members only with the icons that can be in the chat room. He's here and brings a tagline. Hello, SSN Nation. I hope everyone is doing well. The streets were paved with fool's gold today. Exactly, Laverne Penix. You know we're going to talk about it. Exactly. It's 1929 all over again. It's going to go up and scare people into buying 
Then it's going to come crashing down because let's just face it, this nonsense, what they did today, Laverne Penix, otherwise known around here as Mr. Cool is here. This nonsense they did today when um, Nike had a good quarter. Nike reports a good quarter and all of a sudden the market goes berserk. Is this craziness? Come on, man. The rest of the market, 70% of stocks are down. And just because Nike goes, woohoo, people bought from us and we have a, we, we went above our earnings. All of a sudden, they, it's like the top 10 percenters, just like they just said, hey, let's just make it, let's just buy up stuff today. Because if we do that, then we know, like Mr. Cool saying, fools go. We know the fools will buy as long as we make it look like the market's rallying. They'll think, oh, this is the bottom. This is it. No, it's not the bottom, ladies and gentlemen. You know why? Because layoffs are occurring as we speak. Don't let these earnings call fool you. Companies are laying people off because they have decreased profits. Don't be fooled by this. This was a fool's gold, Aaron, and he's exactly right. I agree with this. And Laverne Penix, thank you so much for mentioning that. And he says, I got the notification and trailer. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right, here we go. Victor Morero gives in some knowledge. Building wealth requires time and consistency. He hit it right on the head. We're not opening up a can of worms. We're not promising a million dollars by sundown. We're not promising a million dollars in a year or two years or three years. What we are saying is, as long as you do what he is saying, time and consistency is on your side. We try to speed up the process a little bit, and that's why we need to do other streams of revenue. So if you can get two, three, four, five, six streams of revenue in, and therefore you can stack in more money, that means you can stack in more money to invest and you get quicker to your goal. But let's just face facts. A long time ago, I told my friends, they were like, Eric, man, what's it like having like a million dollars and all this, that, and the other? I said, what do you, what, it doesn't matter if you have a million dollars. I said, you, you don't understand. You're not going to be able to outlive it. So even if you have a million dollars and you're 35 years old, you still have to make more money because you're not going to a million dollars and you start doing 20 years. You live to be 55. Don't have a job. You just shut down. That's only $50,000 per year and you're out of money. Not only are you out of money, you're going to run out of money before you get to the 20 years because inflation, it's going to cost you more to live. So there's no way you're going to spend more money. And by year 10 or 15, 50,000 a year is going to be like, well, wait a minute. OK, this is getting interesting. My groceries that I used to buy now are three or four or five hundred dollars every two weeks. That gas that I used to drive around because I can go anywhere and have fun. Now that's costing me like a thousand dollars a month. All of a sudden you're like, wait, you know, I used to pay property taxes of only like five thousand dollars a year. And now it's ten thousand dollars a year. All of a sudden you're like, wait, this isn't going to I'm not going to be able to live another 20, 30 years. That means I'm going to have to live off of twenty thousand dollars a year. So therefore you still have to make more money. This is why you see on Shark Tank. You, these guys are all billionaires on Shark Tank. Have you ever asked yourself, why are these billionaires out here trying to buy other businesses? Have you ever thought about that? You should seriously think about that. How many billionaires are sitting around doing nothing? That's not how it operates. They're, they have businesses that they control or what they love. That's what they're doing. Sitting around is no fun. All right. So this is why these guys are always looking for extra streams of revenue because we can't keep the money all the time. Just because my business is successful in 2022 doesn't mean it's going to be successful in 2024 or 2026. Competition, technology, everything changes. So therefore, this is why you have to have your pulse. You have to have your pulse on assets that you can get. So I mentioned GNL as one of the stocks. Um, let's see. I'm going to do something here. 
and we're going to go look at GNL just so you guys know what uh, we're talking about. This is equities, and I've talked about this before. Recently, this is a new one I've told people about. Global net lease, and here we are, 12.34%, so I wasn't too far off. This is what I was telling you about. That's an easy one. And so I'm going to give out these other ones because there's some people that, and I'm going to give you something that I like and I actually have, um, but we bought in at $4. So that just gives you an idea, $4.20. Right now it's 10.17%, which 10% is still good, PSEC, prospect capital, all right? So remember, whatever you buy in at, that's the price or the, the dividend yield at the price you buy it at. If this goes down to $6.50, the yield goes higher because it's based on the 72 cents it pays. I think it's 72 cents a year that it pays. Yeah, it has to be close because uh, that's $7. So that's about 10%. But anyhow, the uh, 72 cents it pays annually. Now, if you were able to buy this stock goes down to $5 and they're still paying 72 cents, now all of a sudden you divide that 72 cents into $5 and instead of 10%, you're gonna be up to 14%, all right? Just so you understand. So that's how it actually works. So this is 10%, GNL was uh, 12 point, uh, what was it, 48%. And then of course I've been dropping this one every week, every day for the last week, I think. Lumen stock, of course because we start escalating at $5.30. So you see, this is this is easy. Anybody can buy these. This, these aren't $500. This isn't crazy. Look at this, 18.87% as long as they give out. Uh, if you buy at this $5.30, you get 18.87% return annually as long as they give out dividends. You have to stay on top of it. Sometimes they stop paying, but hey, this is part of Lumen Technologies was a telecommunications. They do cloud solutions, as they say here, network services, cloud solution, managed services. The company is a member of the S&P 500 index. I mean, hey, and we're at 52 week lows almost. I mean, I don't know, but do your due, real, due diligence. This could be a win-win, meaning not only can you get 18.87%, almost damn near 20% return on you your money every year, making your money work for you. That's an asset. And now you're liquid still, by the way, and that's 5.11, 5 dollars 11 52 week low. So it'd be good if this actually picked up because then you'd be nice if your stock was $10, but you're still getting 18.87 because you bought it $5.30 or less, all right? So keep an eye out on L-U-M-N, all right? So that's one of them. Let's see what happened with one. Of, in fact, this is one Jeppy, and I know uh, Victor Moreau has a smile on his face. This one right here, this Jeppy one, man, I just can't believe this because they're, they they increased the dividend to six dollars and twenty five cents annually. This is fifty five dollars. So what you do is you divide the dividend yield annually of six dollars and twenty five cents divided by fifty five. Now that's going to be uh 55 so that's 11 for sure so i don't know what it's going to be but it's going to be a little over 11 percent. it could be 11.5 somewhere in there just off the top of my head it's not 12.8 it should be like 11.5 or somewhere like that but this is jp morgan ladies and gentlemen i call them a fed bank if a fed bank's going to give me somewhere around 11.5 or 12 percent i'm like where do we sign because I like to stay in a safer zone, right? The odds of them not giving out a dividend is kind of slim as far as I'm concerned. So they have, the Federal Reserve has their back regardless. So I love this play here, even though it's only like 12 for 11.5 potentially, but keep this on your radar if you don't want to get in now, but this is double digits returns. This is what you need on your money, making your money work for you, right? So, I'm gonna go with the icon, um, Carl Icon, only because this is before, this is very interesting as well. Carl Icon's at 15.79%. Um, he's got the gamut, the automotive, 
the food, the metals, the real estate. He's got his own little portfolio here, ladies and gentlemen. And so that's what we need. Victor Morrell, thank you so much for this. He points it out. Jeppy is 11. I was close, 11.5. 11.453 at the 50, what was it, $55 mark. Now, here's the thing about that fund, JEPI. If it goes to 54, then the yield is going to go pretty much to 12. So just remember that. We're on IEP right now, with this, which is ICON. So uh, just remember that. Victor Morero says, under investments, I can argue that the unique skill you may have can also be an asset. You can use it to generate income. Exactly. There you go. I I love that. That is an asset. You are an asset. Very, very good point, Victor Morrell. You as an individual is an asset. Think about all this training you've done. Think about this. People don't realize school. You start like kindergarten and it's no big deal. People treat it as no big deal. It's fun and games. I don't need to learn anything. I'll never use this in, in, in whatever I want to do. But when you're in school elementary school middle school high school actually there's some things that you may find that you like and you're going to be very good at it and then you go get a job in the field that you like and the next thing you know it's five ten years later you learned a lot and now in today's era you have a way to share it with somebody else via all of these social media platforms and you can get paid so I like this under investment that he's talking about. No argument here. The unique skill you may have can also be an asset. You can use it to generate income. And I'm going to tell you something. Victor Morrell, for instance, is going to be retiring again twice. He has his assets in place. He's going to travel around. So he's thinking about, hey, I might as well just, if I'm going to travel around or be in a certain place three to four or five months, I'm going to start a YouTube channel or whatever else channels because it's, social media he can get paid for something that he's gonna love to do and he's doing it anyhow that's the beauty of what's happening in this era this could not be done 15 years ago and before you had to make a persona you had to had to be some hype guy you had to be very good at what you do so somebody could find you and then get some airtime like oprah finds you sits down And you're Dr. Phil, and the next thing you know, you get a TV show. Or Dr. Oz, or Dr. Whoever that comes on her show or other shows. And the next thing you know, that's how you parlayed it into a TV show. Now, this is a TV show. You can create your own thing with your own asset. You, you have skills, ladies and gentlemen. You're taking them for granted. You went to school for 12 years. Most of you. Then some of you went to another four to six years or seven or eight years in college. You work for some fantastic companies and corporations. You actually have a skill set. And now you can monetize yourself with that. So that's a very, very good point. That is also an asset that's not going to be on the list because they don't want you to be able to do things for yourself. As long as you live in your primary residence, it won't be a real asset. Exactly, Victor Marrero. Very, very good point. James Way, welcome to the SSN Nation Wednesday night live stream where it's members only like you with the icon that can be in the chat room. Thank you so much for being here once again. The rent is too damn high. That's right. That's it exactly. But guess what? It's coming down. And hello, people. Hello to you too, James Way. Happy holidays, everybody that's here. And James Way, appreciate it. And Let's get into it. He says he's got the notification. That's very, very good. That's the three people, I believe. So that's good news for me and great news. Jeffy's yield, he pointed it out already, 11.4534. I love that. So again, you guys missed out on this. Again, IEP is this one. IEP at 15.79%. The Icon Enterprises Group. He's been doing this for a long time. And actually, I'm surprised. I didn't really realize the uh, his combination of stocks that he had in this, which is impressive. And you're getting that 15% return, 15.79% to be exact, close to 16%. That's pretty awesome. And you'll get 16% if you reinvest. So that's even better. So think about all that, ladies and gentlemen. How cool is that? 
All right. Now, you guys already know I have to give you the ORC that I've been giving for the last two years. Simply because a 17.53% is nothing to sneeze at either. But again, ladies and gentlemen, do your own research because some of these could be risky. There, Some of these are REITs. All right. So some of these REITs, real estate investment trust, they sometimes, well, depending on if they start losing money, they could try to stop giving out dividends. But most of the times it won't happen because of the way they are set up. And now I saw one of my other ones that I actually didn't talk about on Monday, our Money Making Monday. I forgot about the NLY that I mentioned about two weeks ago, simply because that's double digits as well, 15.8%. Got to love it, ladies and gentlemen. But again, it's a REIT. So you can see, you can put a combination together and all of a sudden you're going, wait, I can get 15% on average if all these guys keep giving me my dividends for what I put in now. Again, I'll use the 10,000 number. If somebody told you, hey, you're going to get $120 per month, if you put in $10,000, you might say, okay, that's nothing. But at the end of the year, you're going, okay, I got 11500 And then the next year, what do you have? Another 1500 on top makes it 13 plus some change. Now, now you got 135. So in a matter of about five years, you doubled your money. You're going to be kind of happy. So then you're going to be thinking, well, wait a minute. What if I would have put in another five or 10 G's in there over the last five years? Well, that would have been double. You could have been at 40 or 50 relatively quickly. We're not opening up a can where we're going to be ready in two years, but 10 years out. And you're getting this 15% on your money type area, ladies and gentlemen um you're going to be doing pretty good so this is how we set you up so that is in as a nancy l y now and of course i always have to mention a in a, a g and c and here we are again double digits 13.61 percent these are assets ladies and gentlemen all right so you're not going to be left behind Here's the beauty of this. There's no barriers to entry. Nobody can stop you. You can use the Robin Hood and Webull, download and get the free shares of stock. Get your free stock from Robin Hood and Webull. The link is down below in the description. If you want to mess in the stock arena, go do it. Do your due diligence, do your research. But dividend investing makes your money work for you. Everybody knows that here. Everybody with the icon knows because we've been talking about this for four years. Tesla stock, by the way, we're keeping a Tesla stock watch. Did you see that one? Well, I don't know what it ended at, but did you see that? 139 was yesterday. I was just like, oh my goodness, it's it keeps dropping. It keeps dropping, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm gonna go look at it right now before. But here's here's some things that stock rounds too because i'm talking about tesla here in a second but um remember i made a, a a video about ev vehicles and because we have a mandate of trying to go full ev by 20 what 35 we're going to get there because that's a long way away so therefore all the GMs, the Fords, and even Tesla and whoever else, the VWs, the, the Hyundais, all these guys, it's 2022, going to be 2023, and electric vehicle technology is going to improve over the next 12 months. It's already, they're thinking of charging batteries under two or three minutes. It's just that they're not fully functional for a full-size vehicle yet. So if they're there now, you can imagine a year, year and a half from now, they'll probably get there, especially if you have everybody trying to get there first. He who gets there first, he's probably going to have the bulk of the market. And then he who has the charging system that is universal or can do 70% of all the cars, they're, they're going to be on the top one list. So that's why you have to do your own due diligence. So here it is. Is I have it on the screen. 
screen here where it has an article on CNBC. I don't have this article up. It's on CNBC where he says, I drove 100 miles hands-free GM Ford Tesla cars. Here's how it went. He explains that. This here to be clear, no vehicle on sale today is self-driving or autonomous. Of course not, because our infrastructure isn't built. We don't have white lines across. We don't have the markers. So therefore, the car can't see. So it's stupid. So you have to do your infrastructure. That's why there had to be an infrastructure bill. You're going to go EV and then have cars somehow seeing the road. You're going to have to have markers there. And some of you live in states where there's no taxes and that means they scrimp on the infrastructure so they're not going to have the markers they're not going to have the white lines on the right side but the arrows with some markers in the middle at the on the on the two lane road or the four lane road where they have the markers on all sides have the yellow lines in the middle all that stuff doesn't go all the way down the roads because they skip they don't paint them all so therefore the autonomous situation is going to be hazardous so again that's one of the problems but here's the other thing they can be clear about all of that because there's something that's going on that you guys might not understand the reason why you want to get into finding ev companies that are in the autopilot self-serving autonomous driving is because anybody that gets there you're going to win that stock is going to be very very valuable now here's the gm super cruise he talks about about that that's not what i want to get into you guys can do your research i'm just saying as that's an asset it's not going to pay you right now but down the road if you can get into these companies that are five dollars four dollars three dollars and you have yourself a few hundred shares or a few hundred or a few thousand shares you can sit on them and wait because that could turn into a very valuable asset. They could be $20, 30, 50, 100. You just never know. All right. So here's these big boys, GM, Ford, battling it out with Tesla as well. They're all working on autonomous driving, all of them. They invested in, in different autonomous driving companies. They're trying to win. All right. And I'm just going through here because I want you to see they're talking about Ford and GM and Tesla as well. And nobody's autopilot is autopilot. All right. It can't be done. It's just not going to work like that. Because again, our roads aren't built for the signaling to, to the whatever they're going to use to find it quick enough. You're going to get something that realizes, oh my, that's not what we thought it was. So again, you got to change the marking system. Is that's my anyhow. All right. So here you go, ladies and gentlemen, with that, I just wanted to say this is an opportunity that you can look at. And again, you want to set yourself up the future. Now, I'm going to look at Tesla real quick. We're going to find out what it said today. Right. Let's go see what it is. Oh, even low 137 Laverne Penix. He's waiting for that. Well, can we ever really know when the bottom has come? But I do know this. It is down. This is crazy. 60%? Is this for real? Is Could it possibly be 60%? My goodness. This is crazy. When did they? Here it is right here. Somewhere. Right, that. This is, yeah, 65%. Jesus. Year to date, ladies and gentlemen. It's a bloodbath. This is crazy. This is crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the snowflake, Musk. He, he might be a super villain, but uh, he sure has got thin skin. <laughs> when it comes to people talking about him, man, the dude has Twitter and somebody talks about him, he bans him. Wow. Talk crit. Now he's lashing out at somebody upset that the stock has dropped 65%. Elon, this is how it works, man. This is how it works. When you're supposed to be the head of Tesla, which is like your main thing, and then you're over here playing with a freaking social, social media company that was losing money, and then you're selling Tesla shares to prop up this losing business, making the stock go down, yeah, I think investors kind of like going to be unhappy. 
But guess what? Some investors are going to be very, very happy because they're going to start buying this stuff at this price point. But again, Laverne Penix, I'm very, very proud of you, man, because it takes a, it takes a lot to sit there and say, you know what? I want to buy Tesla and I, I, I bought it, let's say 300. And then you bought it 250, let's say. I don't know his buying streak. I'm just using it as an example. And then you said, hey, it dropped to 240. And then you said, hold on a minute. Why am I doing this dollar cost average? Because why don't we just find out how far this goes down? And the next thing you know, it's at 137, another whole hundred dollars from 240. Now you can buy two shares for the price of one that you were buying three months ago. I like two for ones. So for the same 260 or 270, you can get two stocks instead of one. So I like waiting. It's 1929 all over again. We want assets, ladies and gentlemen. Stocks can be assets. Remember, you don't lose until you sell. So some people might have their dollar cost average at $300. But that doesn't mean you lost just yet. I think he's going to be resilient because Tesla's still like a year ahead of everybody. They still have their charge point. They still a little bit ahead. But with and his engineers, remember, Elon's not an engineer. He's not over there doing something at Tesla in reality. He's just telling people, hey, we need to get here. We're trying to do this. We're trying to do that. He might give it a little directive, but he's not an engineer. The guys doing Tesla, they can do Tesla with or without him. The perception, though, is because of himself telling people he's a founder, which he's not, telling people that he actually understands a lot of things. Yes, he does, because his engineers are there. He's on the forefront. They tell him things, but he's not actually in there designing, doing the engineering. The other people are, but the perception is he's over here playing around. So the stock is tumbling because he's not paying attention because he's the driving force for Tesla. He took that role. He wanted to put buy these other two guys out and say, hey, I, I've got to make sure I'm called founder and everybody thinks I built up Tesla. Now it's coming back to haunt him. All I'm saying. So again, this is why we have to be on stock watch with Tesla and Facebook. They're both down here the same. I can't believe these prices. Apple, all of these companies are tech companies. This reminds me of 2000. And only certain tech companies survived, except this isn't 2000 or 1999. This is 2023 coming up. Things are different now, ladies and gentlemen. The reason why is because Google's, Apple's, Facebook's, Tesla's, all these companies have bought other companies because of their stock price. They were able to borrow money and buy other companies, even the competition. So doing so, they have cloud services now, right? They have all kind of different things like Google owns YouTube, right? YouTube was bought out by them, they sold to them. So you, you they have all these ecosystems that for them to go out of business is pretty doggone slim. They have investments like in um, EV vehicles, EV charging stations, all kind of battery technologies. They actually have certain positions in these. So therefore, because of their stock price and share prices over the last 10, 12 years, they were able to use that, borrow money and buy these other companies up. And they have 30%, 25%, 50, 50% stakes in a lot of companies that are gonna be the future. So they're not gonna go away. Their company, the main companies may lose revenue or profits, but their other companies underneath them, their subsidiaries, they're going to be making hand over fist. So again, buying opportunity is here. Stocks are assets. What other assets can we get? You guys know. And I really didn't want to talk about it because assets come in different forms. Think about starting a business. Think about getting it, revenue coming every month. So that's why, like, for instance, I have SSN Lifestyle. This helps people make money, right? You can actually do different things. We have a ring of fire because you have to make money off of businesses, right? You also can do referral business, referral marketing, and receive commissions. And you didn't have to produce the product or make the product. All you had to do was point somebody in the direction. And then you receive commissions. 
You can sign people up to become members. You can receive residual income, recurring income. If somebody reorders for health products that SSN Lifestyle has, then you receive a recurring revenue from that. They're always sim- like, it's almost like your customer. As long as they keep buying, you receive commission. That's residual. That's how you can build up. That's an asset. So even though you might be going through someone else, but if somebody says, hey, if these people order and you get, I don't know, 50 people and out of that every month, two or three or four people order and the order ends up being five hundred dollars. okay, so you get 10 percent, let's say 50 bucks. That might not seem like a lot, but. For the one time that you got the person to sign up and now you're getting a check for $50 while you're sleeping, that's passive income. That's an asset. So that is what you need to set up. There's different things that you can do and we facilitate this. Yes, Facebook is meta. Thank you for pointing that out. They have taken a huge hit. In my opinion, this rebranding from Facebook into another name was a bad move. I agree with you 100% because metaverse was not a thing see this crypto thing we don't know where it's going to go because everybody came up he was trying to be ahead he was being cute metaverse nfts all this nobody knows what's going to happen because it's happening right now people are like okay i bought this stuff i don't get any money back this is worthless and then most people are in the startup stages Just like the neighbors that I thought was going to take off. These guys still haven't taken off. The neighbors I thought was going to be cool in the metaverse. They're making a game. They're making this. They were doing this. Well, here we are a year later. Nothing. Okay. I mean, you know, they're like showing some things where they got characters moving around doing whatever, but it's still not into production. And so therefore, the coin or token goes down in value because there's no reason for anybody to buy the damn token or coins or buy the homes or buy any of the assets for the game because the game's not even ready. So the NFTs, people are finding out. Somebody bought uh, board apes for a million dollars. All of a sudden, you can't sell them for a million. You got to sell them for 100,000. So this is what's happening when there's no movement. We don't want to be in that anymore. We're not going to do startups when it comes to crypto anymore. But at SSN Lifestyle, we have a ring of fire opportunities. So now how do we get assets? Well, we're going to have to invest in businesses. That's part of having assets. Businesses give us revenue, gives us part of the profits. Can I get the debt box node? Yes. That's one of the companies that we deal with. Can we get Miracle Cash in more stores and part of their profit? Yes. But we have to make an investment, a one time investment in Miracle Cash and more with their cash flow NFT. The debt box, unfortunately, has monthly payments. So now there's a ROI situation with that because now we got to pay monthly payments for it. Whereas cash flow NFT, the one time payment, five thousand dollars, set it and forget it. There's no monthly fees. True passive income. We share in the profits from the stores, the exchange, the POS systems, the merchant processing, all the transaction fees from the ATM as well. We get part of that for our one-time investment in the UK. So again, this is like one of the things that we're going to be talking about in 2023 is I'm going to be, again, I haven't been making that. In fact, I don't even think I made a video. I wanted to make the video about, you know, the rich people problems isn't your problem. I still haven't made that video. Had some uh, personal issues over the last 48 hours that I had to deal with. Like I told you guys, I'm not in uh, California. And uh, one of my cars got towed. And uh, the way it works is on the registered owner, if a car gets towed and I have to have a release from uh, CHP because they're the ones that to- um, did the report. I actually have to go to CHP um, and get that release and um, then take it to the tow yard. But they had a little loophole. But again, it took like two days. It's crazy. They said, "Okay, we'll take a notarized letter. You can say in that notarized letter 
who it's going to be released to, and then the tow yard can release it to the people and get the car. But again, without having to be on the phone freaking 20 times and all this, because you get different stories, and uh, then it finally worked out, but it took two days. Crazy. So these little things that come up, you never know in life. But here's the good thing. I haven't made a video in maybe six or seven days. But because I've made other videos, I still have revenues coming in because there's other videos and there's ads at the beginning and at the end of most of the videos. And I don't have usually ads in the middle unless they're live streams. And so there's still some revenue generated. And because of people like Victor Marrero, James Way, and uh, Mr. Cool, Laverne Penix here that have the icons, they're members of the channel where they actually help a little financially as well. Uh, monthly and so that also goes into the coffers as well plus any other random things where people click on down below in the description so checks come in so i don't really have to make videos to have something coming in but that's what's happened so the last seven days i haven't made a video but it's still generating revenue and that's passive income ladies and gentlemen so the same rules apply whether you're on instagram if you're on tiktok but if you're on those platforms, you generally have to keep doing new videos. You're going to have to keep engaging on YouTube's, on Facebook's. People can find some video content that you've done and it lives there. It's evergreen. So somebody can find your video that you made two years ago, five years ago and be good. All right. And speaking of financials, look who's in the house. Mr. Financial Curtis Davis is here. Welcome to the SSN Nation Wednesday night live stream where it's members only with the icon like him that can be in the chat room. And he says, good evening. Good evening to you. And what else can I say about assets, ladies and gentlemen? His tagline is normally A, B, M, M added. Always be making money. Have I not been sounding like always be making money? That's right. That's what assets do. They pay us. That's where you need to go with this, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Now we're one hour and 12 minutes in. Please smash the like button. If you like what we're talking about, please subscribe to the channel. Click the all notification bell. And I'm going to tell you guys a little story. Mr. Financial has his own channel. Chili Davis. He gives financial information about stocks that went up or down dividend stocks earnings reports and other information go check his channel out chili davis c-h-i-l-l-y and subscribe to his channel he's part of the ssn nation family so show some love iep stocks yes the icon group i already talked about it i believe it was that uh, i can't remember the number I think it was 17%, wasn't it? 17.38% as of right now, price $50.67, something like that. Thank you so much for mentioning that, Chili Davis. IEP, people don't sleep. 17%, 15% return on your money is awesome. You will be beating inflation. It's better than putting your money under a mattress, losing 10, 15% buying power. At least you get to stay even or ahead of the curve with your money making you money. All right. So, yes, IEP. We did talk about that a little bit earlier, Curtis Davis. So thank you so much for mentioning that. All right. Now, I want to get into something else. Oh, what I was going to talk about. One other thing I, I was uh, I forgot about something. Um. It had to do with uh, Melanie Manita missed 24 streams of income, although I think some of her streams of income might have had to come down because some of the businesses, they, they've changed their uh, their programs. Um, now, let's get back to this fool's gold and assets, and then I'm going to go into, you know, my favorite thing, cash flow NFT, ladies and gentlemen. All right. That's an NFT that's backed and licensed by Miracle Cash and more stores licensed and regulated in the uk in cyprus in spain in france in germany you get to get an nft for one of those countries and right now they're selling the uk nft there's only 1488 of those available 
All right. So I want to show you this here because people don't sleep. They're more of a hand. Right. So here's my Quran. Just so you understand how stocks work, you have to, you can't just go by one metric. You have to pay attention to a lot of different things. All right. So what's going on here? Where are we at? There we go. Finally, show. <laughs> All right. Uh oh. All right, ladies and gentlemen, sorry about that. I saw it froze and I was like, okay, here we go. Gremlins in the system. Oh, I knew where I was going with this because it had to do with Melanie Bonita. I'm going to tell you guys something right now. Uh, uh, next thing for myself, the back office. So I'm going to give you guys an interesting thing because, again, this is why I need you guys to share the videos. Tell other people about it because – there is something going on and it has been for ever since I've been on here for like three years. When I dropped that video, that little, uh, it wasn't a, well, it's a short. When I dropped the short, which was a copy of Melanie Benita's TikTok video where she was talking about the free cruises for veterans, educators, and first responders, I dropped it and within the first I would say first few minutes, um, I was going back in to add on like the um, the uh, title and I was going back in to add it in the description, the title and add on the connect with us information on our Facebooks or Instagrams or TikToks and things like that. In a few minutes, it had 85 views. Number one with the bullet within a few minutes. So then as I was going through and I started adding, like, like I said, our information in the description below it, and then I added in the uh, uh, work hard, play hard, playlist, things like that in the back office, and it was probably like an hour later, two hours later, guess how many views there was? 85 views. So it's like it just stopped. The views stopped. So I was like, okay, so this is why you need to share the videos, tell other people about it, because there is other forces that you get this information because there's a lot of people on YouTube that give you a lot of good information, but I give you information so you look at it from a different perspective. Perspectives like what I'm showing on the screen right here is one of the reasons why you have to understand and not jump in, right? So like when I say it's 1929, I'm not one of these guys on YouTube saying go buy stocks because Tesla went down for like, like some guys right now are saying buy Tesla, it's 137, 140, go buy it. I'm sitting there saying why? I'm not down with all that. I'm sitting there going, hey, it might be an opportunity, but like I've been saying, I believe it's 1929. And for me, I give suggestions. I say, hey, think like it's 1929 and 1930. It's going to go up, then it's going to go back down. And that's what we have seen. So whether it goes down another $20 or $30, it'll even be a party at that point. Or whether it goes up another $5, $10, $15, there's no skin off your back either way, because ultimately you're thinking the stock should be worth at least $250, $225, or $300 for Christ's sakes, right? Um but it's not right now. But sooner or later, Elon Musk is going to es es uh, exit his uh, Twitter debacle and get back to the business at hand with uh, Tesla. Otherwise, there's probably going to be a lawsuit. But um, again, there might be a lawsuit, I, I got to say. Um, 
just keep this in mind. You heard it here first because the investors are very fickle because like I said, they're feeling slighted. But my point I'm trying to make is this thing, they could go down to 125. It would still be a good buy. At this point, I call it a good buy because I was saying if it goes under 140, that puts it into the buy range, in my opinion. Semiconductor maker Micron announces 10% staff reduction, suspends bonuses. This just came out today. All right. So keep this in mind, ladies and gentlemen, no matter what happens, this is what's going down. The Federal Reserve out here pulling your chain, making you believe everything's going to be fine and 7% year over year inflation by their bogus numbers. That is not good. They are trying to get to 2%. How can 7% now be okay when we know the number, the target number is 2% year over year, and we also know they can't get there? Well, not everybody. You guys here in the nation know you they can't get there. They still print up money. They still give out free money to whoever their buddies are, the corporations. So therefore, we are never going to get down to 2%, and there's a reason, because they have to take out. They can't put in gas. They can't put in rent. They can't put in groceries. So in reality, their 2% number is not even based on everyday life. If you're not putting in groceries and gas and rent numbers, then how are you calling this an inflation metric? That's ridiculous. It's not. It's fake. So, yeah, they might get down to 2% using their bogus stuff. But in reality, they're not going to be down at 2%. And that's why we need assets that pay us, ladies and gentlemen. You're being bamboozled. You're being fooled. And this right here, this semiconductor company losing 10% of its staff, this is the beginning of the end. There's other companies that laid off another 10% that they didn't announce. There's three or five other companies in the last 30 days that have laid people off and not giving bonus money, which now means there's people right now no bonus money, no Christmas gifts, because most people live paycheck to paycheck because of the cost of living. All right, here we go. Feds, Mr. Financial, Curtis Davis, the feds keep sucking people in with fake pumps. Exactly. That's all they got. They don't have nothing else. And so we can't be fooled, ladies and gentlemen. That's why we're going to be able to pick up assets cheap. All right, here we go. Basically, there's no CEO uh, for Tesla until Twitter deal closed. There's no CEO for Tesla, period. I mean, Elon Musk is sitting at Twitter. This guy is just selfish. The guy's acting crazy. He's, uh, this is, this is, he's using Tesla stock as, uh, he owns it, but he selling it decreases the value of the company. And then he says, Who in their right? Well, I'm going to paraphrase. The Tesla stock is overpriced. He says this. I'm just like, what kind of what what is this guy doing? He's been saying that, actually, not just now. But the point is, how is your CEO saying, well, our stock price isn't what it's overvalued? I'm just like, what are you doing? Does this sound like a sensible, reasonable business person? It does not. It's easy when you own companies that are on the cutting edge. Again, I have a pet peeve about this. It's a lot easier to be on the cutting edge when you can start up a company based on borrowing funds from the government, meaning us, the people, getting tax incentives, tax breaks, tax cuts, and subsidies for 10 years, 15 years, free money. I want to know what person, I don't even care, even if a person just got out of high school and they said, hey, man, we're going to give you $2 billion a year, whether you fail or not for your company for 10 years, you're going to be successful with that company in some capacity because you can hire the best people to make your vision work. I'm just like, this is incredible to me. I mean, this is crazy. So anyhow, he's going to be laying off people at Tesla. Also, by the way, they're going to, Micron's doing it. Ford will be doing it. 
FedEx will be doing it. All these companies are going to be laying people off, which means that's less GDP. All right. You guys got to understand. It's disgusting. So I just wanted to pull up the micron so you understand why you need assets that can pay you. Victor, uh, 11% yield on Jeppy. Exactly. Mr. Financial, it's 11.453% as the numbers are right now. But you got that right. National Lampoon. <laughs> Chili Davis, Mr. Financial. It's National Lampoon's Christmas, the bonus rob from normal employees. Micron and other companies. Exactly. Exactly. It's going to be crazy out here. Based on my experience, a lot of companies wait until the beginning of the year to start letting people go. Many of them don't want to give the bad news right before Christmas. Exactly, Victor Marrero, but this is totally different. These guys can't wait because in this case, just like Micron, they're promised bonuses and they're just like, oh man, we can't wait till after the year. Exactly. That's how America used to be. They would try to say, okay, what's another three weeks? All right. We were going to lay somebody off, but hey, it's Christmas time. It's, it's holiday time. Um, we need to let people know. We'll give them like a three week or four week advance notice. That way they get their paychecks. That way they get their bonus money or their stock options or whatever the case may be. But uh, we're not in that era anymore. Companies being in business for 25, 30 years is, is iffy. I mean, you don't know what's going to happen. Think about this. Amazon, Microsoft, Google, Facebook, they aren't like Exxon, Ford, GM. They're not 70 years old. These things are less than 30 years old. And in any business, there's an ups, upside and a downside. There's a There's a peak and valley and then you run out of a roadway because of competition and new technologies and new things occur so there's no way to know if these companies are going to be around another 25 years more than likely parts of them could be could be like disney right have parts of everything but again you don't know and that's one of the things it's one of those things um it's time to send Uncle Crazy to CEO's home. Exactly. Exactly. This is getting outrageous out here. All right. Now look at this. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the one originally said a year ago. And then, of course, I only made the video, uh, a short video on TikTok and things like that, where Eric says housing prices dropped to 50 to 60 percent off so far. They've been battling this. They've been trying to make sure these, they've done everything they can do to make it look like prices won't come down. So you go, this is not the time to asset a home. This is not going to be your asset home, ladies and gentlemen. The pr home price is still too high. But look at this. Home sales tumbled more than 7% in November, the 10th straight month of decline. Imagine that. This is month 12. Beginning of 2021 was again high mark for home prices. Home sales sliding. Sales were down 35% year over year, marking the 10th straight decline. All right. The median sale price rose to 370 from a year ago. That wasn't the median home price I was talking about. It was $455,000 with medium home price last year. So again, this is misinformation as far as I'm concerned. I don't know what they're talking about unless they are talking about home sales, unless they're talking about specifically a segment of the homes. Maybe they're talking about new home sales or something, but uh, home prices were on average the median price was around 455,000 earlier this year so i don't know what this is all right so again making this is this is this is what i'm talking about the median sale price was 3.5 to 370 from a year ago if you're reading this in the home buying market right now you're going oh my god home prices are rising i better go out here and buy a house again this is how they fool you sit back 
drink some eggnog, relax for a few months, relax for seven months, ladies and gentlemen. The Federal Reserve is going to increase interest rates again the first quarter, whether it's January or February. They're going to increase it again. Whether It's going to be 0.25. That's what my opinion is right now. We'll see. You always go with what Wall Street loves. We'll figure that out later, but it'll be 0.25. I doubt if it'll be 0.5 or 0.75, but who knows? Because they're going to have to go a little more aggressive if they want to get to 2% for real, but they're lying. But nonetheless, it's so disgusting. But here it is that they use here to make it like, oh, I better go buy a house. The prices are going up. No, don't go buy anything. Sales of existing homes failed 7.7 in November. Um, th this is not, this is not 35% sales were down. That's what it should be. And after the year rolls over, it's going to be lower. It's going to be more like 50% year over year, like it should be. All right. Don't go to open houses other than to look around and go, hey, I like this. I like that. This is what we're going to do when we get our house in eight, nine, 10 months from now. Do not buy a house, ladies and gentlemen. All right. You're not out of the woods yet. There's no reason. Zero reasons. Um, so I just want to show you that. Low supply kept prices higher than a year ago. See, we're again with this low supply nonsense. Nobody's buying a house. It doesn't matter. It's based on supply and demand. All right. That's an asset. We're going to take advantage of it. Buy a home 2024. It's going to be the mantra. All right. We're one hour, 31 minutes in. I'm not too long tonight, ladies and gentlemen. But what I am going to do, we are going to talk about cash flow NFT. Because I just the number one business opportunities of 2023 and beyond. When we have licensed, ready, passive income opportunities, that's where we have to reside. We have to go there and check it out. I know you guys might get tired of seeing this, but this is going to be an into new year. It's going to be SSN Lifestyle, Cashflow NFT, Debt Box Nodes, because all of those are companies that can help you, ladies and gentlemen. Whether you have, well, zero money, because Cashflow NFT has a free affiliate program where you can actually refer people and get 10% if somebody buys a NFT. SSN Lifestyle, again, you can be a free ref a referral affiliate there, refer people to the products and services, earn a residual income off of that. So, debt box node. That one, though, you do have to buy a license and then you do have a monthly payment now with the licensing fee starting in January 4th. And it's only $15 a month, for that. but you have an IX global fee, monthly fee as well. And you can earn residual monies there by referring other people to buy a license. So that's a number. And there, the uh, debt box license is backed by real world gold, silver agriculture natural gas oil satellite systems is patented and only one person on the planet has a technology there's other technology that can scan from space but this one they can actually find gold natural gas platinum palladium rhodium gold silver oil water and other precious metals and items underneath the ground from space and they can damn near pinpoint it pretty close. So anyhow, I'm going to play the usual Miracle Cash and More video so you guys will understand. If you haven't seen this before, you have a golden opportunity, I dare say, once in a lifetime. Do your due diligence. There's a link below to sign up for Miracle Cash and More. You can buy the NFT there or you can become a free affiliate and refer other people and they give you 10% of the NFT price. You do that 10 times, that's enough for you to get the NFT, the UK NFT, there's only 300 left. That's what's so incredible about this. Um, and I actually don't know the number because there's a promotion running right now. And I'm gonna go find out some more video plus. So anybody who hasn't seen this yet, pay attention.
They have an exit strategy in four or five years is their exit strategy for this. They have this in place, 10,000 ATM machines in a country, 5,000 to 10,000 POS systems. That means there's transaction fees in stores, in locations where you get part of the profits from those transaction fees. That's major things in itself. And there's still another five other streams of revenue such as is an exchange so now when people do the exchanges everybody knows there's profits from every transaction you get a percentage of that store licensed and regulated whenever they do business in the store you get 50 percent of the store profits what more can you ask for you're not doing any work other than buying the nft and the nft also has its own membership there's other perks that go on it's very very awesome so here, pay attention, get your pen, pad, and paper ready. And afterwards, there's a link down below, whether you want to sign up as a free affiliate or if you want to buy the NFT. I purposely did not tell you the price because you're going to have to sign up. So check this out, ladies and gentlemen. If there was a way you could have partnered with Elon Musk before Tesla, before the Model S, before SpaceX, and before Elon became the world's richest man, would you at least have wanted to know how? If there was a way you could have partnered with Jeff Bezos when he was planning Amazon.com and it could have made you a fortune, would you at least have wanted to know about it? Well, what if there was a fintech company today that is about to capture major market share worldwide where millions of people will be using its breakthrough technology and you could make an absolute fortune? Would you at least want to know about it? At the same time that we are experiencing record inflation, gas prices through the roof and headed towards a recession, the move towards crypto adoption worldwide is picking up pace and the evidence is all around us. Big names and big money players are jumping in the game like crazy. The Staples Center, where the LA Lakers play, is now the Crypto.com Center. The Super Bowl, the most expensive commercial time on television, featured six cryptocurrency ads. Tom Brady, Matt Damon, LeBron James, and Larry David all made appearances in them. Facebook changed its name from Facebook to Meta. The rapper Eminem bought a board ape, an NFT, for $450,000. Warren Buffett invested over a billion dollars in a Brazilian crypto bank. Coinbase bought Bitcoin Turkey for $3.2 billion. You know what they say, success leaves clues. Whenever there is economic change in the marketplace, there are economic winners and there are economic losers. It just depends on what side of the equation you end up on. They also say that timing is everything. How would you like to get in on the next big thing? Are you ready for a miracle? How would you like to own a piece of Miracle Cash and more? The first to market brick and mortar crypto stores. Crypto on the street with stores in every major city all over the world. Unlike the faceless online competitors that have no phone number to call, no physical address and no one to talk to. Miracle Cash and More stores are fully regulated, licensed, and our wallets are insured by Fireblocks. At Miracle Cash and More, we own our own cryptocurrency exchange. We own our own stablecoin. We own our own ATMs. We own our own merchant terminals. And guess what? We get paid on every single transaction. The secret, if you want to call it a secret, is to get involved before the whole world knows about it. Position yourself in front of the masses before the masses react. Here's the current offering. There are only 1,488 shares of the master franchise agreement for all of the United Kingdom. Each share is projected to profit over $100,000 in year one, $200,000 in year two, $400,000 in year three, 
and $900,000 in year four. We have an exit strategy that projects a payout of over $10 million per share. And what does that cost to you? A one and done payment of just $5,000. And of course, you can buy as many shares as are still available. Now the question is, do you at least want to know how? I sincerely hope so, because the best is yet to come. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, had a little problem. Gremlins in the system once again with weird stuff. I could hear the music, but could not stop it. Go figure. You know what I'm talking about. Whenever we get into it and look who's here, Wilson Koo, welcome to the SSN Nation Wednesday night live stream. And he has the icon next to his name. That's the only reason he could be in the chat room. In case you're wondering why you can't get in the chat room, that means you don't have an icon, which means you're not a member of the channel. Good evening, Mr. Burden, SSN family, 100% facts. I sell money. That's right. He's busy trying to sell more money, give you funding, ladies and gentlemen, for whatever you want to do. This is the man you want to see, Wilson Koo. You go check him out at quickeasyfunds.com. That's right. This ain't a one-stop shop. It is for everything, though. We just don't have one thing we talk about. You need funding for your business, real estate, or something else? 
This is the man you need to see. QuickEasyFunds.com, Mr. Wilson Koo. Q-U-I-K. Remember, I told you to always have that pen and pad and paper ready. I'll start again. Q-U-I-K. E is in Eric. Z is in Zebra. Funds, F-U-N-D is in David S.com. That's how you can get in touch with Mr. Wilson Koo. Or you can send me an email at support at stopstrugglingnow.com and I'll forward an email to Mr. Koo to get in touch with you. That's support at stopstrugglingnow.com. Now, did you guys see that cash flow NFT video? I hope, because things went haywire in my office here, um, in the back office. And Wilson Koo shows the love evening at Victor M. Laverne P. James Way, Curtis D. Thank you so much. Greetings. From Laverne Penix, greetings, Mr. Koo. Showing the love. This is what we do here, ladies and gentlemen, in the SSN Nation. Greetings, Mr. Koo. Evening. Look, look, some technical issues. Yes, it did. It happened again. Welcome back, Mr. Koo. Did you get your get your contact info? We'll email again. Mr. Koo did not get your contact info. We'll email again. Um, uh, hold on a second. I think it's, I can just give it, let me see something. I think it's, um, isn't it like WKHOO1 at Gmail? Wilson Cool, let me know. I think that's what it is. I sent you a private message, I think, Mr. Cool. I sent somebody a private message. I don't know if it was you. (laughs) <laughs> that's funny i'm giving a, a some new i'm going expanding eric no sound i know there was no sound for like two minutes that's why i was going like this because i couldn't talk my speaker was turned off in the back office wouldn't come on it was just crazy what was happening here crazy some issue on my website okay so can't go to the website oh yeah tell me about it i have one of those too with ssn lifestyle and all of a sudden they're like, oh yeah, we're gonna repopulate it after 24 hours, 40. I was like, what are you talking about? This is crazy. Yeah, so there's been some gremlins in the system, some hackers doing some stuff. Lenders are throwing money at businesses. Loans equal to 70% of annual revenue. Holy smokes, Curtis Davis. Ladies and gentlemen, what they're saying is if your company makes like a hundred thousand dollars annually you can get $70,000? Jesus. What's the requirements for this, Mr. Financial? All right, there we go. Wilson Koo put it down there. So it's wkkh one at Gmail. So that's how you can get in touch with Mr. Koo. Good evening, Wilson from Victor Marrero. Here we go, wkkh one at Gmail. So I'll put it in here. So you guys want to get some of that uh, possible funding. Here you go. All right. So I was wrong with the WKOO. It was WKKHOO1 at Gmail. There we go. That's how you get in touch with the finance guy. He does the funding for businesses for basically a lot of different things. Real estate. And in different forms of real estate can be done depending on how you structure this. Structure it for buying a new business or creating a new business. If you have some land, he could potentially help you with somebody that might want to do something. Uh, All kind of options. Check him out. Mr. Wilson Koo, you're lucky enough to have the man in the house um, here in the SSN Nation. Now, if you guys saw the cash flow NFT we had a glitch in the systems. I don't understand what's happening, but it's happening. Nothing like it here in the SSN Nation. Seemingly like everything's going well, then all of a sudden it's like, hold on. We can't have this. We can't have them knowing about this, set it and forget it. Because here's the cash flow NFT. That This is the website. Here we go. Curtis Davis. Yes, the required biz loans are two years in business, but up to 70 percent revenue. There we go. Uh, what about the PG part? Are we talking about a 650, 680? What's the personal guarantee portion? That needs to be known. Here's cash flow NFT, ladies and gentlemen. There's uh, just so I'm going to scroll down here. Two hundred and ninety three of the 1488 NFTs are left. 
All right. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to show uh, Discover NFT. You guys already know the NFT is $5,000. Don't fret, though. We have something for you. If you can't afford the $5,000, we have options. But here's what it looks like. You come down here, add the cart. There's your $5,000. You can pay in crypto. Okay. Notice on the right-hand side, become an affiliate. It's free to become an affiliate. So down below in the description, you can actually um, use the Miracle Cash and more. You'll see it. And use that link. It'll be cash flow NFT. That's the link. And it'll take you here. And then you can sign up and register. And then you'll have a link where you can refer other people to buy the cash flow NFT. So how about that? That's a way for you to get in. And it doesn't cost you anything to become an affiliate with cash flow NFT. That's one of the beauties of that. All right. Now. Somebody might say, Eric, you told me 5,000, I don't have. The other thing is I don't really want to try to refer people, but they give you 10% if you refer people. $500 for everybody that signs up, you do that 10 times, there's your NFT. Or do it two or three times or one time. Because then you can join in the SSN Lifestyle Castle Lease Opportunity. 30, this is not 3250 there's 3500 so you can put in anywhere from $250 contribution up until 1500 and you can join in the group business opportunity but that's the SSN lifestyle but that's the link down below that says cash flow nft 5000 business opportunity that's what you have to use to go over here and you can use your debit credit checking account via paypal so you can use that or you can use USDT. The only requirement is you can only put in increments of 250. So since you can only put it in up to 1500, it has to be 250, 500, 750, 1000, 1250 or 1500. Whatever percentage you put in. So if you put in 500, that's 10%. When they issue profits starting in like February, I believe it's February or March for the UK, then you get 10% of the profits received if you put in 500. If you put in 1,000, you get 20% of whatever they send as commission or profits. So it's a marketing platform. The NFT is backed by the company you saw, the Miracle Cash and More. They're, this is for the United Kingdom, all right, only. And you receive monthly commission is what i'll say i don't know the term but you receive part of the profits and be being an nft holder so right now you can get in this is gonna as soon as we get to 1500 this is shut down you won't be able to get in other than paying 500 dollars or by paying or by referring other people and then using that money to either get in on this or get sell uh, get 10 people to or get 10 buyers there could be one person that buys 10 of them for all that matter right but you just need to have 10 sales and if you do 10 sales there's another caveat for the free affiliate you also get into their global pool you will get a share of a global pool that they're going to have and that could gen and and what they're estimating is it might be valued around fifteen hundred dollars two thousand dollars per month residual passive income there is no monthly fees with cash flow nft and miracle cash and more these are real stores that's a real store that opened up they have stores already in cyprus they have new stores in germany new stores in i'm missing a country uh germany cyprus and I'm missing one of the countries. It's not France. It's not Spain. Oh, Holland. They have one in the Netherlands. So that's the third one. And they just have the leases for other stores that are going to open up in January in the UK. They're fixing those now. And in Cyprus, UK NFT holders, 
you get 30% of the profits from two stores in Cyprus added to the UK NFT. How about that? Now, Spain holders of NFT, unfortunately, we can't buy any Spain NFTs. They get 50% of one of the stores because there's three stores in Cyprus. But the UK holders get 30% of two stores, which is pretty cool. Again, we love passive income. That is an asset, ladies and gentlemen. We want assets that pay us. And if somebody told you that you can put in $5,000 or less, and get passive income for the next four years. And that passive income could be 200, 500, 600, 800, a thousand dollars or more per month. You would say, where do I sign up? $5,000 and their exit strategies in four years, they wanna sell the whole stores. They set up their home, um, holding companies in Portugal. The other companies are underneath. So now when they sell it, it's a whole package and that could be worth hundreds of millions of dollars. And every NFT holder, whether you're in Spain, UK, Germany, France, Cyprus, you get a piece of that. And that piece could be substantial. It's life changing is what could happen because if we're talking about five years from now, financial industries and crypto is gonna be in a different space and this could be worth they they could be selling their company for hundreds of millions of dollars hundreds of millions of dollars when there's only about five thousand or six thousand nfts that's going to be pretty major that means you're going to have seven figure uh, potentially coming in if they pull this off so are you going to be a believer and get in you got three ways you can do this you're not going to get opportunities like this that come around too often. So study, uh, if you use the Miracle Cash and More link down below, you'll see below that there's a YouTube video that you can go actually watch. And I believe it's the Micah video with ourselves doing a live stream. And he actually goes over what uh, the potential businesses can do. And if you want to join us in the SSN Lifestyle $5,000 business opportunity, that is down below, known as the Cash Flow NFT $5,000 business opportunity. The Ring of Fire, SSN Lifestyle. All right. So that's how we do this, ladies and gentlemen. We make sure that you have a way to get in on some of these things. Right now, we also have a debt box. And debt box is another asset that's Ming sitting in the background because would you like to receive profits from an actual real world business if it has natural gas coming out of the ground and you receive profits on that? The way they do profits though is they buy the tokens and then they burn the tokens permanently. So in essence, they reduce the token supply. So every life license is actually a token they just had debt uh, natural gas and bgld tokens those licenses they just burned they just did a burn because any profits they receive from their partners for when they're pulling the oil out of the ground or natural gas out of the ground then they turn around and buy the tokens and then burn them to increase the value of the tokens which increases the value of your license and therefore increases the value of the, the mining tokens. So that's what's going on here. They built their own ecosystem. That's debt box. We have, have a way for you to get in. Debt boxes start, well, the lowest one right now is DLG. That's the gold, all right? But again, the gold is, it's, it's not, you don't, the, the mining is small and it's gold. They pull it out of the ground. It's backed by the actual gold. That's beautiful. Then the next highest one is 2250 is the scanner system to find these gold, natural gas, oil, platinum, rhodium, water, silver underneath the ground. They found the largest deposit of iron in Ghana unbelievable by the satellite system so that is two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars the next one after that is the grow they have agriculture 
That's right. Farmland, agriculture. Now you get potentially being able to make money from it with your license. That license is 500. The natural gas is sold out. I believe it was at 7,500 if you can still buy, but it should be sold out by BGLD, sold out as well. But new BGLD for Ghana is going to be coming out in January. I believe that's what's going to happen. I'm not actually sure, but I believe that's what's going to happen. So there's opportunities that come. And again, if you want to do something, we do have the SSN lifestyle. We're going to have XPLR. 2250 we have that opportunity as well there is not a link down below because we're going to sew up this cash flow nft because that's a life changer if they're able to do this not only will you receive monthly revenue profits coming in passive income in four to five years they're going to sell the company and that could turn into i don't care if it's two hundred thousand or five hundred thousand or one hundred thousand or a million dollars is what they're thinking well, actually more than that, but they're talking seven figures is what they're thinking an NFT holder may get if they reach their goal of, I believe it was $200 million. All right. So that's significant. So I'm going to show you a little video. It, this is one of my favorite videos. Here we go. For the Miracle Cash, how much is there now? 3500 We have 3500 now as a group also you mentioned some about new fee that the xplr no business opportunity has yes they um they started charging for the mining but it ends up being minor it's 15 dollars a month for if you have one and then it's 45 dollars if you have two or three licenses so it's a minor fee it's not it's not the 750 like it's if you own like um they have something if you're one of these people that bought like 20 or 30 um licenses then it's going to cost you you know way more than the 750 that they're charging right now but we don't have to worry about that it's not 750 it's only 15 dollars per month for that so that's all it would be for the xplr node and uh miracle cash and more we're at 3500 and quite frankly in about six or seven days, uh, somebody said uh, at the beginning of the year after Christmas, if we haven't reached it, they're going to put in at least 250 to 500. I don't know that number. So in about 10 days, 11 days, we're going to be at 4,000 probably. So we're only going to have 1,000 left when January comes in about uh, 10 days somebody's already committed so if we don't reach that then there's going to be another 250 to 500 in there so we're going to we're probably going to reach the 5,000 in the next two weeks two weeks to three weeks max so if you haven't gotten in yet for that our ssn lifestyle cash flow business opportunity situation i suggest you seriously consider it because we're going to be there in three weeks i guarantee that um in fact i'm paying attention um because there's 290 nfts left for the uk uh, we're getting it. So if I have to throw in the remaining some more, I'll do it because we'll get there. So everybody that's in, if you're not in yet, I suggest you get in. You can put in 250 increments. So 250, 500, 750, 1,000, 1,500, up to 1,500. But they got to be 250 increments. All right. So that's for the miracle cash and more. Now, with regard to the debt box node, there's there's only one way you can buy these at wholesale. You have to go through IX Global, and either you can just be $45 a month and get your license, and that's all you can do, or you can pay $115 per month and get your license, and then you can refer other people. So that's why down below you'll see the IX Global link. That's the link where I can refer you, where you can now go buy a debt box node. All right? Now, we also have our SS and Lifestyle XPLR, but that'll be promoted a little bit more starting after uh, probably January 15th, a little more, even though somebody did already put something in. But we want to get to the cash flow NFT first, and because that's 
potentially much more valuable in a certain aspect, whereas the license for the debt box, that's a 10 year license and that's passive income from the mining. So you could be earning. We don't know what it is right now. It's nothing major. Four dollars. The XPLR is four dollars and 15 cents basically per month. But you're not taking out the money. The tokens are more valuable. It's giving you three hundred and like uh, sixty five tokens, let's say, per day XPLR wise. So now the token is only like one cent. It's down to one cent, one point two cents, something like that. If that gets up to a dollar or 50 cents or 25 cents, the value increases significantly. So all this time, if you're mining and you have 50,000, 60,000, 70,000 tokens, when those tokens go up to a higher value, not only could you now sit there and say, okay, every day, if you were able to mine 200 tokens and those 200 tokens gave you, let's just say $50 per day, and you do that 30 times a month. Now you can start saying, hey, wait a minute, I might be able to take out $1,500 per month passive or take out a thousand and let the other 500 sit in there to keep just sitting there. So if the price goes up, you'll have a value later that you can sell it. But the fact that you're mining and you potentially could still have 50,000, 100,000, 200,000 tokens and then still being able to take out potentially I'll just say $200, $500, whatever the case may be per month, and the price increases, you're going to be loving life. And with the debt box a license, remember, they find more things underneath the ground. So in a certain section in Ghana, they found the gold. Now they found an iron deposit which wasn't even on their radar. There is no license for the iron deposit, but there is partnerships and royalties with the XPLR satellite system. So again, there's an ecosystem already built for the debt box node. All right. So I'm going to play a video that I love this one video when they're in Ghana about a month ago now, a month and a half, where they're walking down the street and they're explaining what they're doing because the CEO, Jake Anderson, or founder, actually, I don't think he's titling himself as CEO, but one of the founders, Jake Anderson of Debtbox, is explaining their ecosystem, and it's beautiful. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. You got to check this out. This is pretty sweet. So we are here in uh, Tamale, and we are out in the farmland, and this is the land that. that debt supports with yes. our grow token correct so how how does debt directly support these different farmers how does that tie together so right now this is uh this is equivalent to about twenty five thousand acres uh, of property uh, they have capped out uh, they are the only organically certified uh farms in all of ghana so the export for soy uh, and sunflower seeds and some of the other crops, they can start expanding through, but they don't have the property to do so. So GROW will come in and help with infrastructure. GROW will come in and purchase another 10,000 acres of property here and bring in uh, more heavy equipment and build uh, at least three more processing facilities for that 10,000 acres. Uh, that will allow them to basically put on more workers and increase the revenues coming through. Uh, those more revenues, we get more royalties for it. Those royalties then go to the co-op and you basically get paid for the co -op. One of the things that I've been the most fascinated about is, you know, we talk about debt. Debt stands for decentralized, eco-friendly blockchain technology. And I don't think that we understand the E part of how much they're doing environmentally here in Africa. I mean, you guys are rooted here. Very much. And, and truly making a difference in these communities. <clears throat> I don't think that people realize that by buying a GROW license or buying many of our Explorer licenses or any of the projects, they really are supporting Africa and the communities and the people through employment. Thousands of jobs. Tens of thousands. Tens of thousands. Uh, yes, yeah, so our, our goal is for the year of 2023 is it will actually support 10,000 jobs alone here in Ghana. Mm. Uh, that's going to be not only for the grow, that's about 3,500 jobs, uh, but for um, silver and gold, 
uh, about another 3,000 jobs, and the rest of it will basically be going into the aluminum and the oil and gas uh, sector here. But 10,000 jobs total uh, will be gold, I believe will exceed that probably by June or July at the current pace. Uh, but there's always uh, opportunities to expand here in Africa. It's one of the richest countries still in the world. And there's so much opportunity here, not only to expand the debt box, but also expand uh, where people live and uh, giving back. It's beautiful. Show you around here real quickly. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate it. Give just a tour of where we are at. Give us a quick 10 seconds of what we're beautiful, looking beautiful. at. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's what I'm talking about. If you don't understand that, that was the best explanation they can do while walking in Ghana, where the satellite system has found areas that they, you heard him say, royalties. That's very, very important because that is what they use to burn the tokens for your license. So that increases the value of the token. All right, just think about it. And if you can earn 300 tokens a day, 340 tokens a day, which is actually what's happening right now. There, I think it's around 364 a day. That's going to come to an end as more people buy the XPLR uh, license. Then that means, let's just say right now there's a thousand people, which there's more than that, but a thousand people are XPLR holders. Now, let's say another 500 people buy it. Now that mining is also the extra 500 people will reduce the amount of tokens earned. So right now is the premium time when to get tokens. XPLR, aluminum, which I actually forgot about too. Aluminum, which is bauxite, that's major. So that may be where the oil, or the, I always say oil, that may be where the iron deposit might be going towards the aluminum. I'm not sure where it's going to go. But all I'm saying is that has potential, ladies and gentlemen. This is passive income. If I, I'm going to have to illustrate to you here. In fact, I'm going to show you something on the screen for one uh, XPLR. Oh, oh, damn. They got a, uh, okay, this is different. They have something a little different now in the background. Forgot about that. Um, I'm actually going to show you the mining portion of this in the back office so you can understand what we're dealing with or what you could be dealing with here. So we're in early. Everybody's in early. This just came out. They just started doing the BGLD last November. So this is less than, well, it's about a year old now. But these other ones, the XPLR, the um, aluminum, the grow, those came out a little bit later. So all this is relatively new, but the key is you get to mine while the token price is low. That is the major thing here. Um, if you don't understand how this could work, let me see, where is this? Okay, here we go. Let's see what we have here. All right, so this shows on the screen, you can see for yourself, look here in this section, mining balance, 48,186. That's in the bank. So the token price right now is only 1.13, 1 1.1 cents. All right, down again. But don't worry about, we're not caring about the token price at this point. Not right now. It hasn't even started really yet. XPLR, they haven't even started. They're sending up a satellite in about two to three to four months. Their own satellite that they're going to be able to charge other businesses to explore the continents looking for precious metals, oil, natural gas, and all that. They get to charge the 70000 100000 200000 per hour. That is going to be part of that profit where they're going to come and burn the XPLR token. The XPLR is a token and a license. So we have, well, we're going to have 50000 in the bank. So here it is, 345 are mined in the last 24-hour cycle. 
the next 24 hour cycle has started. So it's now $3.92. That's nothing major. That's less than $100 per month if you wanted to withdraw it. But there's 48,000 in the bank. There's going to be 49,000. And after another four days, it's going to be over 50,000. So again, you can imagine if down the line, whether it's a year from now or two years from now, where these tokens could be worth, I'm just using hypotheticals, nobody knows. But if it went to a dollar, you already have these in the bank. You don't have to buy the license, which will now be, well, either not available or cost $5,000 or $7,500 for the license. You don't want to be in that ballpark. Or $15,000 for like the debt license. That's what they sold the debt license for that just came out. $15,000, I believe it was. That's crazy, right? So right now, the aluminum and the XPLR, they give off about the same, 300, and 300 um, tokens per day. The DLG, it only gives off like not even, not even one per day. Um, natural gas is like 14,000, uh, 14, 13,500, somewhere. It's 13,75 or something like that. I can't remember. But anyhow, um, it's thirteen or fourteen thousand dollars per day, but the natural gas costs seventy five hundred dollars if it's still available. So that's what you would have to spend to get a natural gas license. Um, the grow only does a small amount right now as well. I believe it's like forty a day or something like that. All right. So just giving you an idea, but this is why it's. It's very, very valuable. And just so you see the dashboard here, these are actual licenses, but these licenses are tokens. This is liquid, by the way. And you can go over here and see inside the wallet. Um, what is that? Paying. Use the swap for oh just popped up okay pancake swap and so you can do your usdt send and receive this is a wallet and you can connect trust wallet pancake swap the debt token is the mother token debt so when you're on pancake swap sometimes you have to swap for instance let's just say we wanted to to get our uh x p l r out we would go to pancake swap then we have a couple of choices either changing into the debt or they might let you change it into let's say just usdc or usdt direct but before it was debt and then you use the debt token and that's the mother token and you can actually it's on other uh, exchanges like bitmart i believe it's on bitfinex l bank now so you can move it around using the debt token so that's how you can cash out or they should have by now where you can just change it direct. So you have a couple of ways, pancake swap. It's not on Binance yet, but like I said, it's on, but here's some news actually. So this is exactly what happens with the debt box. Look at this on December 19th, the profit they burnt. So there's the burn notice for natural gas. All right. I don't know the amount. They usually say that looks like $8 million. 30 what is that billion yeah it looks like 30 billion tokens at 0 0.0029 equal 8.7 that's 8 million that's the value that's what they use the part of the profits they go and buy on the open market the natural gas token and then they burn it permanently also they give the prop because they're making profits from the natural gas from the uh, Las uh, Nevada location and from the Nebraska location. Nebraska really hasn't kicked in yet for the natural gas or, or the oil, I do not believe, but the one in Nevada, they get 4%. That's what they said. They got 4% of that one in Nevada. That's one of the largest oil fields in America, North America. So that 4% is doing a very good job if they can burn off 8 million. 
dollars worth, right? So you can imagine what they're earning every month or every two months. Natural gas, um, let's see what they did. Natural gas did 8.7 and BGLD 11 million is what they burnt. That's pretty significant, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Burn notice XPLR. December 19th, there's some profits coming in, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't realize they're doing the burn. Um, first burn from acquired tokens, 2.6 million, or is that billion? That's 2.6 billion. Were sent to the burn wallet. Value is $33 million. That's what it looks like to me. All right. Look at that at 0.01286 per token it doesn't matter we love in the burn tokens that's two billion right that we're loving it i didn't realize they had that oh it looks like aluminum burn notice so apparently they're making money from that nevada plant because i don't know where the aluminum's coming from because i didn't know about any aluminum deposits or anything like that but apparently they have profits coming in from some partnership deals, ladies and gentlemen. This is how it's working. It's looking beautiful to me. I don't know about you, but it, it, this is another opportunity for passive income. Now, before this got up to two cents, before, it might have gotten up even higher than that because at one time, the node, the license was over $1,200 or $1,100. The price has dropped to half. So that means it was at two cents because it's at 1.1%. So it was at 2.2 or 2.5, whatever it was. But they burned two days ago. And it doesn't look like there's any, well, positive except for XPLR. But don't worry, about XPLR. Wait till they send the satellite up in the first quarter of 2023. And then they start making money off of other people. That would be beautiful. So hopefully everybody here understands what they're doing. And I'm I'm gonna play this because we're here at two. All right. So um, I'm gonna actually play a video that I, it's eight minutes long. If you're interested in this debt box node, this is when they were in Nebraska at the oil rig. And again, I'm going to use the one where uh, Travis Flaherty is talking with Jake Anderson. So we'll get to that. All right. I'm going to play that in a second. Laverne Pennick says, um, with all these new projects, it's always a caveat. With Deckbox, it's that damn VBox hosting. Yes, v I know. I don't, I don't like it either because it's now $15 per month for that XPLR on top of the IX Global $115, $145. So now uh, that changes things a little. So, hey, we'll just turn into the promotions on it as well. Um, it's pretty awesome. Sound keeps dropping out. Okay, thank you for letting me know. That's crazy. That's crazy. Thank you, James Way. I don't know if there's anything I can do about it. Um, I'll do it this this way. So uh, I'm gonna play a video when at Nebraska. So this will explain a little bit more if you didn't understand that time uh, from the Ghana, the short two minute Ghana. This is gonna be eight minutes. I normally don't play the whole thing because it's a long way, but somebody might be interested in this. And this is when they were in Ghana, not me. I didn't go, but they the some of the people that bought licenses, they flew to uh, Nebraska to check this out. And then they're talking about this. So here we go. Check this out. Ladies. Hey, guys, Travis Flaherty here. IX Debt Global Ambassador. And I am privileged right, to be here today there. with Hold the Debtbox co-founder, Jake Anderson. Uh, Travis, thanks for having me. Uh, I'm so again. excited. We're coming to you on site. Okay. Tell us a little bit about where we're at. Let's go. So we're at our drilling rig in Nebraska. Okay, and this is one of the first rigs that we've put up for BGLD. 
Um, and it is actually the uh, project that's supporting the token that we have. So exciting. So listen, for those of you that have been following along, I, I wanna start off by asking Jake a couple of questions. How does this really differentiate from what's going on in the cryptocurrency space? Because you guys are really setting a precedence right now with, with the difference between speculation versus tangibility. Talk to me a little bit about that. Yeah, and so uh, what we really want to do is create something that fulfilled a need that we saw in the industry, which is something that created the excitement of some of these, I guess you call them meme tokens that are out there that have a great upside potential and everybody likes to see that, but also that has something that's backing the project, uh, much like a you know utility token or something like that. But how do you do that? And so what we've created is a unique tokenomics that blends crypto with commodities. And oil was the first one that we went out at. And as you can see here, we're in Nebraska drilling for oil and uh, we've got some pretty sizable deposits here. We're very excited that we uh, hit our first payload and we're going for our second one. And all of the revenues that come off of this, that go into BGLD will actually buy token out of the uh, market and then burn it to never be seen again, which is gonna constantly restrict supply and create demand. Well, so let's talk a little bit about, so you see the BGLD right here on our hat. So the black gold licenses just sold out. I've got people that are still reaching out going, can you get me just one more? So black gold was your proof of concept, so to speak. Yeah. Talk to me a little bit about just the history of black gold. Yeah, so we launched black gold back in November of uh, 2021. And uh, so it's, uh, we're coming up on a one year anniversary of that. And uh, we started at a price point of five zeros and a one and we're currently trading at about a penny. And so that's roughly a 10,000% increase in value over the course of a year. And uh, so we're proud about that, but that's really not you know, the height of what we're proud of. What we're proud of is we're actually doing something that's changing the industry as whole. And we're getting looked at from a lot of different industries, a lot of different companies, because uh, the backing, the commodities with the crypto and tying those things together is something that's never been done before. And uh, so far it's been really good. Well, you know, I want to talk a little bit more about this ecosystem and, and really how you're you're impacting the entire cryptocurrency industry, because let's face it, let's go back and even look at the last bull run that the industry had. I mean, there was a lot of speculation. There was a lot of hype. There was a lot of coins where you had celebrities or influencers that were, you know, tweeting about coins that had dogs or foxes or pictures on them and they had no purpose no real world value whatsoever. And I think a lot of people got sucked into that. And so, you know, if we look at what you're doing, some would even say that it's kind of like the dollar when it was backed by gold before it was removed from the gold standard. Yeah, similar. And, and, and we know what's happened to the dollar in the last 50 years or so when it comes to the value. So you guys are, you know, I think that the cryptocurrency industry as a whole is really looking for more substance as we move forward to bring in that credibility factor. Um, how do you see yourselves playing a role in that as we move forward? If I could narrow it down into one thing, it's stored value. And that's really the key. Um, anything that's considered, you know, a currency should have stored value. It shouldn't lose 90% of what it's worth over the course of 50 years. Um, so a lot of people during times like this, they'll flee to gold, silver, and some of these things that actually have appreciation and value. And that's what we're trying to create here is the digital format of that. And so uh, our tokens are all supported by commodities and or digitally linked to the commodity itself in the case of gold, silver, and palladium. Uh, but with oil, uh, it's backed by the projects. And so this is one of four rigs that we have that are in the process of either being set up or are currently drilling. And there's many more coming. Well, and to, to have a cryptocurrency portfolio prior to your ecosystem, I have to go out and buy different projects and ultimately hold all my coins in a in a wallet or some type of an exchange, but you guys have really given people the ability to be able to participate in many different projects, some that are moderate risk, some that are a little bit more aggressive. Um, what are some of the projects that you guys have recently just rolled out? So uh, if we start at the beginning, we have black gold. Uh, we have a project called digitally linked gold. That's a little bit different. That's more of what you would call a conservative because every token that's minted is actually tied directly to a, a gram of gold. And so um, with that, you have three choices. You can either hold it, you can sell it, or you can redeem it. In other words, every token that a DGL 
or DLG minor mints, you can actually redeem for the physical counterpart. Now, since nobody's going to take the physical counterpart of a 55 gallon drum <laughs> of oil, it allows us to play with the tokenomics a little bit differently and give a little bit more of an upside potential. And so what happens there is uh, we have an initial total supply of coin that's allocated. And every time that money comes off of one of these rigs, it goes and buys that supply out of the marketplace and burns it forever, which is going to constantly reduce the supply, but also increase the demand. You know, basic supply and demand economics would tell you that if that happens, the price goes up. And that's kind of what we've seen. Yeah, it's exciting. So we've got a total of, of five live projects right now. Mm -hmm. Black gold sold out. Um, you know, one of the things that I am super excited about is, is, is this Explorer project and this satellite uh, that we're working on. Talk to me just a little, because people are really excited about the possibility of, of partnering with a project the first cryptocurrency, to my knowledge, that's going to have a satellite in space. To my knowledge as well. Um, yeah, and so if you look at the technology that we use for all of our projects, what it is, and the way to explain it in a simple format, is it's kind of like an MRI machine. Um, and what we do is we use a satellite technology to scan the Earth for different metals and different uh, elements. Every element on the periodic table puts out a different frequency or vibration. And we can calibrate the machines to actually look for that and, and hone it down. And in our gold, um, we actually fine tune that to the part where we can actually go out into some of our mines in Africa and we can actually see exactly where that gold vein is going. We know exactly what depth it's at and relatively know kind of what's there. And what that allows for exploration companies and prospectors to do is actually uh, mine in a more eco-friendly way. And so we reduce a lot of the overhead burden uh, for companies that are going out there uh, because instead of doing strip mining or speculation, uh, they know what they have and they know where to go get it. And that reduces the cost to them. So that technology becomes extremely valuable. And that technology is what is the underlying kind of foundation of every one of our projects. And so we use that for oil, we use it for natural gas, we use it for gold, silver, palladium, and we'll use it for everything else coming up. Uh, right now, we currently contract that work through Google, and so we use their satellites in order to do it. But in launching Explore, uh, part of that uh, roadmap is actually to launch our own satellite in space. And uh, we're actually gonna do that pretty quick. That's a lot of fun. So, you know, I learned something today. 92% um, of the wells that are drilled are dry. And that's not very eco-friendly. No. So, you know, you guys are doing a lot on the eco-friendly side of things to be able to help people to pinpoint these projects with, with incredible accuracy. And that allows them to not only save a ton of money, which is essentially why they would potentially want to partner with you, but it's also great for the earth as well. It is. So they, that box here has accomplished a huge uh, milestone over the last week or so. You just hit how many licenses sold? We just broke 1 million licenses sold. 1 million licenses in 19 countries around the world. In 10 months? In 10 months. Guys, the best predictor of future performance is past performance. Now, with that being said, there are no guarantees in anything that we do here, but I do wanna say this, success leaves clues. And um, I can tell you, I could not be more excited and more proud to, to be aligned with you guys with this project and uh, could not be more excited to see where the next 12 months takes us. So with that, Jake, thank you so much for your time. Travis, for having pleasure. me out here today, I appreciate it. It's been fun. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So we're two hours, 33 minutes in. Is that special or what? Please smash the like button. Now, if you like what we're talking about, please subscribe to the channel. Click the all notification bell. That would be greatly appreciated. And I'm about to wrap this up, ladies and gentlemen. These are assets that we're talking about here. The stocks, the equities, the uh, derivatives, starting your own business is another one. Victor Marrero brought up the other one. Monetize yourself. You're an asset yourself. Don't think you're not. You have information that can help other people more times than not or know something that can help other people. Either way, you have a skill. You may not feel comfortable about being in front of a camera, but not everybody has to be in front of a camera. Sometimes you can just do voice. Like my man, Yankee Stacking, has never shown his face. He's only shown his hands. So that's a thing. Or not show anything at all and just talk. Show images. Show video. It's not that hard. So that's something you should think about. 
And again, we gave you the debt box node. We've been talking about this for about five, six months. These are the two number one business opportunities of 2023, excuse me. And that's it. Buy a house in 20, second half of 2023, first half of 2024. Somewhere in that area is going to be a sweet spot. That's when you buy a house. And don't worry about if it's 9% interest, 9.5. Don't worry about it. The house is 50% off. A $500,000 house, even in California, is going to be a nice home. What I mean by that is if there's a house and it went down 50% to 250, you could find it in California. You can find it in Florida. You can find it anywhere in between East Coast, West Coast. You're not going to care if the interest rate is even 10%. You might go, okay, that's you know $2,000 per month for a mortgage. But on the flip side, you're going to be happy because when they reduce the interest rates and you bought a house for $250,000 or $200,000 and it drops to 5% and you bought a house for $200,000, $250,000, now your mortgage is only it's going to be under a thousand dollars or a thousand dollars at five percent and if it drops below that that's even more gravy so now you could be under a thousand dollars for a mortgage if it went down to let's say 3.5 then you're only going to have a mortgage of eight hundred dollars a month i mean that would be beautiful right for a house that's going to be valued later back to five hundred thousand so keep that in mind. That's an asset at that point. That's why you buy cheap. Don't buy at these ridiculous prices right now. Just because somebody's out there, Lennar is out there saying, hey, we're going to buy down the two percentage points for you. Instead of you paying 6.75%, we'll let you pay 4.75% because we're still going to sell you a house that's only 10 to 15% off. We want to sell you our $600,000 home but we have to give you incentives. We'll buy down, we'll give you some extra bonuses, like we'll change your flooring, maybe give you some new countertops, maybe some different cabinets, but we're still gonna charge you that same almost $30,000, $40,000, $50,000 less because the people that bought the home last year are gonna be mad at us when you're buying for even the fifty dollars or $60,000 less. But we still got the incentive for you to come in and buy at that price. They're pulling out all the stops. Don't fall for it. Because you buying a house at this price point and the house going down another 30 percent, 40 percent, and there won't be any recovery for potentially two or three years. That's a long time to be underwater. I'd rather you be in a pos different position. I'd rather you pay a higher interest rate and buy the house closer to the bottom. So then even if a home goes up 20, 30 percent, that could be potentially hundreds of thousands of dollars of equity that you can tap into and use that to make assets. Buy assets, make investments that give you a return on your money, not buy toys, do not buy liabilities with equity money. That is not the thing to do. I stress enough. I can't stress enough, do not use equity to buy liabilities. Only use equity to buy a bona fide, I know I'm gonna get back whatever I put this into, I'm getting back something. That's the only way you can do it because that because you have to pay that equity loan back, all right? So you wanna make sure that's the money coming back to pay it, plus some a little bit more, so then your house turns into a passive income scenario where you don't have to worry about paying your mortgage. That's half of most people's battle. If you don't have to pay mortgage, that frees up a lot of money. All right. And so that's how we want to get you started, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to end this now. If you have any questions, you can always make comments down below in the comments section after the video is over. If you want to sign up for IX Global and buy your own license, the link is down below in the description. If you want to join us on the XPLR, business opportunity ring of fire for ssn lifestyle that's also now down below in the description and if you want to get that cash flow nft miracle cash and more and you want to buy your own five thousand dollar nft
please use the link down below for Miracle Cash and More, $5,000 um, Miracle Cash and More link. And if you want to join us where there's only $1,500 left in the cash flow, the Ring of Fire SSN Lifestyle Cash Flow NFT 5000 business opportunity where you can put in a minimum of 250 and 250 increments up to 1500 um, then I suggest you go there or you can go to the Miracle Cash and More, become a free affiliate there with their affiliate system, refer other people. You earn 10%. If anybody buys an NFT, so that's $500. Um, you can put that in your pocket um, or put it into the cash, part of it into the cash flow NFT business opportunity or um, hold off and do it 10 times. And now you'll have your 5,000 to get your 5,000 NFT by referring other people. So you have three ways you can get in to this 5,000 NFT. Um, and you have two ways to get into the debt box node. Either you can buy the license yourself or we do have the XPLR 2250 business opportunity as well, which works the similar way, $250 increments. And there's a, well, you can um, put in up to, um, $1,250 as an individual. That's about it. Um, $250 increments though, as well. But right now we're trying to get to that cash flow NFT. We're at 3,500 right now. There's only 1500 left to reach that 5,000 NFT. There's 293 NFTs left in about two weeks, 14, 15, 17 days. Uh, it won't be 1500 less. It's either going to be 1250, a thousand, or will be already completed. So if you want to get in on it, you better do something now. Cause I, like I said, somebody's going to do something 250 to 500. They haven't said, but I have a feeling after Christmas, it depends on some business activities or Christmas. So that's the thing right there. So get in now two ways to do it and share the videos. You never know who you're going to help. All right. You don't know what people's looking for. Somebody right now is sitting there with their bonus money going, Hey, what should I do with this extra, let's say $10,000. Maybe I want to use a little bit of it to invest in something, but they don't know what to do because of crypto. Oh, it's been bad as along with the FTX debacle, with the, the long uh, with crypto going down. It's been bad news all over the place regarding that. So nobody would want to do that. Then they go stocks and then they say, OK, stocks is interesting, but I already invest in stocks via my company. And maybe I do it myself also. So I get up to six or seven thousand dollars in a deduction. But they're saying, well, what about a different business or some other way where I can just get passive income coming in? Well, you have two opportunities for passive income opportunities and you can share all right so just think about that ladies and gentlemen and we're going to wrap this up i said i want to thank everybody for being here i appreciate it i love you guys i hopefully i'm giving you some information that you can use even though i'm repeating some of the stuff we've talked about over the last two months but this is pretty doggone serious all right now um let's see sounds Sound keeps dropping out. Yeah, I'm hoping it went back to norm. Where do I go to join the group for that? Wilson Koo, um, it depends. I don't know which one you're actually talking about. If you're talking, you, you go to SSN Lifestyle. The links are down below in the description. So if you want to get in on, like, let's say, the um, cash flow NFT and you want to be a part of the business opportunity, down below in the description, you'll see the cash flow NFT 5,000 business opportunity. If you want to buy the NFT yourself for 5000 then you use the Miracle Cash and More. There'll be a link there under Miracle Cash and More, and that'll take you to Cashflow NFT to register, sign up, and buy it there. Now, if you're talking about the XPLR, the 2250 XPLR, then down below in the description, you can either buy it directly at IX Global. There will be a link there. You have to sign up with IX Global. That's how you're able to buy it at wholesale. And you would have to send me an email because they have something, a placement box. So if you sign up, I actually have to place you before you're activated. And then if you want to get into the group, the 2250 XPLR 
um, business opportunity. That is also down below in the description. So hopefully um, that way you'll go. I mean, it's either or. Those are the two that we're referring to. Then that's how we do it. Cash thing. Cash flow NFT. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Cash flow NFT is down below. So like I said, if you want to buy it out, your 5,000 yourself or refer other people, then you use the Miracle Cash and more in that in that description down below. There'll be a link to cash flow NFT. If you want to buy and join in the group, then that's the uh, you'll see that cash flow NFT 5000 business opportunity link. And then you can go up to fifteen hundred dollars and it goes by the percentage you put in. So, for instance, if you put in a thousand then your uh, contribution is a thousand and that's 20 percent so starting in february or march when they start sending out commissions that means uh, a simple example if they sent a thousand dollars and you get 20 percent, that means you get two hundred dollars somebody who puts in 500 they would get 10 percent. so that means they get 100 dollars. and then somebody who put in 250 that would be five percent so then they would get fifty dollars so Right now, you can only put in a maximum of fifteen hundred because that's all that's left. We're up to thirty five hundred. So that's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully that helps out. Lenar is damn near bankrupt. Exactly. Exactly. The dirty little secret. That's why all over Texas and, and everywhere they are, whether they're in the West Coast, East Coast, Central Coast, uh, these guys, they have all these homes that they were starting to build all these projects and now they're looking at a bailout and so they have to do serious incentives i was just giving you guys the light incentives these guys are basically 15 20 percent off in some cases uh and like i said they're offering people oh hey if you buy now we'll pay down your mortgage so you can have a 4.78 instead of that 6.5 or 6.3 or 7 percent um we'll pay that we'll take off a hundred thousand dollars on the house we'll give you some new flooring they're doing all kind of stuff because home prices are going 20 to 30 percent down and it's hard if you have a six hundred thousand dollar house and 20 percent means 120 grand is gone so in the neighborhood i can buy that same square footage house it may not be brand new it might be three years old but I can spend 550,000. So why is somebody going to buy a brand new house for more? It makes no sense, right? Zero cents. So they have to make it, they're on, they're, they're on a tight rope uh, as a home builder because they sold other homes, let's say for 600,000. They're selling these newer homes to somebody for 575,000 with the incentives. The other people bought a home and they said, oh, yeah, well, you're going to have to pay an extra 40000 if you want this flooring. Oh, you want these other beautiful cabinets or backsplash added or all this? It's another 20 Gs. It's another 50 Gs added into their mortgage. That's the problem. Some people paid more than what the asking price is because they added what now are free incentives. So that puts people, it's bad. So, yeah, Le Le Lenar is going to be a I I'm I don't know if they'll be bankrupt, but somebody will buy their homes because of the homes for rent and those type of companies, Haven Homes and all that. They'll they'll say, OK, we'll buy your whole subdivision. We got a billion dollars from J.P. Morgan or Bank of America or whoever. So how many homes do you have? And they'll say, you know, 300, 400. And they'll say, OK, here's a couple hundred million. And then they try to turn them into rentals. All right. That's not an asset scenario for anybody. So, yeah, Lenar is going to be actually all the home builders right now are going to be in trouble. OK, thanks. First option you said. Thank you, Wilson. Cool. Appreciate that. All right. Well, we're going to wrap it up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And please like subscribe and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. And I know it's hard out here, and that's why we need the assets that bring us passive income. We didn't even talk about real estate tonight, ladies and gentlemen. You know 
passive income comes from secondary homes, rental properties. I'm not talking about month to month rentals. We're talking about Airbnb. Where do you have Airbnb rentals? In places where people vacation. Oh, lose in America, Orlando, Vegas, right? Disneyland in Anaheim. These are places people go year round. So if you have a condo or a home in these locations, the odds of you being able to rent it out is at a pretty high clip. In our case, we've been talking about no credit check, no qualifying in the Dominican Republic, specifically the area surrounding Punta Cana, because that is the number one tourist destination in Latin America, the island of half island of Dominican Republic. 50% of all tourists that go to the Dominican Republic go through Punta Cana Airport. We're talking about this year, they could do 7 million visitors just shy of their record by only a few hundred thousand people. Next year, they're going to break that record. That means they're going to have 4 million people plus going through the Punta Cana airport. You start going over 52 weeks. You start realizing, holy smokes, that means there's going to be 300 some odd thousand people per month going through Puna Cana Airport. How many of those people are going to be staying and looking for a place they don't want to stay at the all-inclusives? All-inclusives have gotten very interesting. They started reducing their prices. I noticed this. They used to be ridiculous. $400, $500, $700 per, per night per person. And when there's an event, that's what it is. $1,000 $1,000 per night. But now if you go where there's not an event or nothing, they're like, okay, $300 a night, $400 a night. That's more reasonable. But now these condos, you can still buy for $100,000. Villas, $200,000, $180,000. You, that means you can still make money for renting for $100,000, $125,000, $150 per night. And they have their own fridge and you have amenities at the place and they've made infrastructure in Puna Cana. So it's still an opportunity. I literally think you're gonna have, well, if you can get past this next six months because they're gonna have 100,000 people coming through Puna Cana every week starting in January. Well, actually starting now, all right? This week, next week and on for the next four months, five months, six months, they're going to have 100,000 people coming per week on average to Puna Cana area. And they're going to have roughly probably 700,000 on average coming every month. So therefore, they are posting up. They're going to be posting up all their properties for sale and they still have properties under $100,000 in Puna Cana in the Dominican Republic. And they are approved for short-term rentals, Airbnb. So that's another way, that's an asset because you buy it, no credit check, no qualifying, you pay your monthly payments while they are building it, 30%, 20%, 40% of the value. So if a house costs, a a villa or condo costs 100,000 as an example, you put down 10%, which is $10,000. And then if it's uh, 30% during construction, then that means if they say two years, that's 24 months and you owe 30,000. That's 30% of 100,000. So you'd be paying $1,500 a month. In two years, you put down the 30,000 plus the 10. So that means you owe 60,000. That's 60% LTV. Wilson Koo has said that's where they're at. But here's the kicker. Once they finish building it, your property probably is not going to be worth 100,000. It might be worth, let's just say, 120,000 and you only owe 60. Now your loan to value is $50,000. Your qualification might just have gotten a little bit easier because that you're going to have to qualify to get that loan. But at least you're in a ballpark where 50 
thousand dollars at fifty. I mean, fifty percent is much better than sixty. And if your house went, if the value of the property went up to one forty, and now all of a sudden you have a forty percent loan to value, now that makes things even almost like who's going to turn that down, regardless of credit. But you've been putting skin in the game for two years, so that that holds water too with the lender. So just keep that in mind. All right, Wilson Koo, thank you so much. And everybody else, thank you so much for being here tonight. And hopefully you guys are on the march for the best 2023 year that you've had to date because you are armed with new arsenal of passive income to end out the 2023 passive income 2023 mantra and next year it's buy a home is going to be the 2024 mantra but the caveat after july or june of 2023 do not buy before that all right and then you might even still might want to wait another few months but all i'm trying to say is this is when opportunities knock are you going to be prepared and some of us are going to be prepared a little bit better than others especially if the number one business opportunities are working and we're getting that extra 500 300 200 600 thousand dollars per month from those passive incomes that means we could put ourselves in another position to do something else later which you guys know we always have next up because you guys know we're not talking about the same type of things we talked about a year ago or two years ago or three years ago real estate's always in the forefront stocks always in the forefront businesses change and that's where the new adventures begin so let's go ladies and gentlemen everybody getting ready for the holidays i hope so everybody getting ready for the 2024 adventure 2023's adventure that turns into this 2024 adventure you guys ready ready to rock and roll well don't worry i'm still going to be dropping some videos this week i keep saying i'm going to drop a video i haven't dropped one other than these live streams but i'm going to be dropping a video i'm probably going to have a surprise on one of these days because you know i told you my brother is a uh, uh has written some uh, sci-fi books so I'm going to actually have him on and, and we'll talk with him one of these times because assets is writing a book because it's on the shelf and it's on virtual. So therefore it can sell at any time, just like music. So as long as people know you have it or they might not know, they might just happen upon it. So therefore I'll bring him on. We'll talk about a little sci-fi book. All right, Star Cruiser Falcon. All right. Um, and uh, that is intellectual property, which means passive income, ladies and gentlemen. Right? Think about it. I'm just saying, some of you actually have skills that you could write a book. And I'm thinking about writing a book, but it's the adventures. It's almost like a series because, again, I told you guys some stories, but I swear um i i have enough material from my life i think i can seriously make movies or or two three four five seasons worth of a tea i seriously have enough stuff ladies and gentlemen and i won't even count under 18. we'll count over 18. all right um, so I'm seriously considering it. If I add under 18, that's a whole nother ball game because I was a sick kid. I was at the hospital every week and then uh, bad stuff was happening with me. Who knew I was going to live several occasions because of asthma, pneumonia and all kind of other stuff. Um, so that would be a whole nother thing, which actually would be good for a movie and series as well if you start small. But 18 and over will do. <laughs> that in itself will do so uh and there's more to more to the chapters that's going to be added all right so with all that said be safe with your family out there don't spend all your money in for christmas remember after christmas is clearance sales and this christmas they're going to have clearance sales like no other because i don't know if they're going to beat their records or whatever they're going to do 
but I have a feeling that there won't be certain sales in certain segments of the market. So you're going to have plenty of opportunity to buy liabilities after Christmas and all of 2023. So don't go out here buying cars, RVs, boats, planes, trains, none of this stuff. Wait another three, four months. All this stuff is going to be dirt cheap. Liabilities will be dirt cheap. And with all that said, ladies and gentlemen, again, I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Everybody with the icons, that's members of the channel with financial support, subscribers with your support, everyone that hits the like button, that's another way of support. Everybody that watches the videos, that's another way of support. Thank you so much for your support. Four and a half years almost doing this. And we're going to go another year, ladies and gentlemen, except I'm getting a little restless now. We're going to have to go out and about like we used to a little bit. All right. And so um, we're still going to have some fun and some new ventures await. And with all that said, keep your head up, keep moving, and I'm out.